Hey yo, hey yo, what's good everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the Late Night Pokemon Card Stream. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's your boy Dama. Looking forward to a nice stream ahead of us. So, happy to be here. Happy uh, Wednesday, everybody. Wednesday night. We do have a very fun stream ahead of us in terms of what we have tonight. Um, the current lucky bags, which a lot of you guys love, that's the big, biggest thing we're doing every night, pretty much. Um, we have one, five, one themed lucky bags, but there's something interesting about this round starting off tonight. We have two big high tier bags remaining in the last 16 bags. So this is how we're going to go about it. Because of that, we are going to go six more bags. And if none of those two high tiers, if neither of them gets hit. In the next six bags, uh, we're going to do the reserve starting at 10. And if one does get hit, then we'll do the reserve starting at 8. So we're going to give you guys a lot of opportunity to try and acquire them without us having to start the reserves early. Regardless, this iteration of bags is 151 themed. It's Kanto themed. It's very in your favor in terms of value. And uh, a lot, there's a lot of really good stuff. If you, if you were here yesterday, even the not so great bags were mid tiers that gave you your value or at the very least got you a small amount of profit back. With cards, you could grade to make more because they were really good condition SIRs. Regardless, it's up to you what you want to do with your cards once you have them, but that's just kind of how I set it up. It gives you more options and more... Uh, it gets versatility. If you want to grade it, you can and you can do better. If you don't want to grade it, you still have very good raw value. That is... It feels good. It feels a lot better than going out and buying a fucking $100 booster box and getting a couple $5 cards and being like, dang, I only lost $75 today. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's a good round. Regardless... Uh, looking forward to tonight. We're going to get all of our links out real quick, and then we are going to get going here. Excited for tonight. I think we have a good stream ahead of us. Um, some interesting stuff has been happening today in the in the card market. Uh, some interesting stuff indeed. <laughs> some some funny fucking shit that we'll talk about tonight. Um, I'll get there when we, when we get there. We'll talk about it. Uh, let's get all the links out. 16 lucky bags left. Reserves in six reserves at 10 bags. Two high tiers remain. Two big high tiers, not just high tiers. Two big high tiers remain. Get on in here. All right, let's get everybody in here. Should I post on Instagram? I could post on Instagram. Should we post on Instagram? Post a little bit of Instagram. We could post on Instagram. I, I typically don't post on Instagram. Let's let's post on Instagram, shall we? That's That could be a good idea. You never know. I'm going to post up. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the link to our stream. And then I'm going to post next to a picture of the what, what's in the big bags. I hate ads, man. The amount of ads YouTube has been running lately. It's so obnoxious. So very obnoxious. I'll be the first one to say it. Um, let's do go to here. Let's do uh, live now. These lads in the high tiers. Then we'll do the link, the old link. We got to do the link, the link, the link. All right, we're doing the link. And we'll do that. Sweet. Okay. Hopefully all goes well. We're going to get that back here. Hopefully that's, that's good. Is that, is that on? That's, that's on. That should not be on. Let me turn that off. The bright, the fucking, that's not what I wanted. How do I do this? Flash off. There we go. That's better. All right. So it's good, everybody. How you doing? Very excited to get started tonight. So basically, here's what you need to know. There are six bags until we go to the to the reserves. If you don't know what the reserves are, the reserves are where we give everybody a fair shot at one bag each to try and obtain one or multiple high tier, like big high tier bags left. On top of that, uh, we give people like five, usually about 10 minutes to get one bag each. And then after that period, we will allow everybody who's already gotten a bag to get another. And that's how that kind of goes. So, 
right? I'm excited tonight. Let's read chat and say hello to everybody before we get going. Q is open if you want to get your orders in on Q. If you want to get stuff in before shit sells out, it's a good time to do it. Uh, usually when we get into the last back half of Lucky Bags, things sell out very, very quickly. So I would highly suggest getting your orders in quick tonight um, so you can kind of beat the crowd before people get in and then we have to inevitably get to reserves. Unless somebody gets both high tiers quick, then then we, you know, then we have to do what we got to do. Let's read chat and let's see what's good. Uh, no, that's my boy Dom, not anyone else. <laughs> Early stream, what the fuck? My hee hee. Hello, everyone. What's good? Hee hee. What's good? Kazantha. What's good? FOMO. What's good? Macus. Uh, da Thomas got muted already. <laughs> Kaiser. What's good, Kaiser? Yeah. Yo, Oswaldo. How you doing, dude? How you holding up, Oswaldo? How you been, man? How you been? Um, what's good? What's good? We got, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? <laughs> I'm still curious. Why did Thomas get his message deleted? He's self oh, he's self-advertised? Of course he is. It's just cla it's just another day with Thomas. Alrighty. Alright, cool. So with that being said, uh, good to have you all here. So I wanted to check. What did I want to check? I didn't get to check Pokey Beach today. See if anything new came into the old news. Uh jamming tower revealed for Mask of Change. I maybe it's playable. I have no idea. Uh no cool, no cool cards. Just playable cards from the TCG. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, how y'all doing? Hope you're having a fantastic night. Um, let, let me show you what's going on. Let me show you what's going on. So for tonight, clearly, as y'all can see, we got some stuff here. We got we got some things here. Uh, Crimson Haze Hotbox was was fully restocked, as a lot of you know. It was fully restocked. OG Hotbox is basically, basically sold out, but you need a little more left. Slab Hotbox still has slabs in it, still going. I believe we were on a pump before we uh, rounded it off last time. Um, we do have some weekly incentives. We are going to be running one more, or we are going to be running the weekly incentive tonight. Tonight, or the weekly incentive for this week was the Maridon EX SAR and a Gem in 10. This is the weekly incentive. Uh, and we're going to be rolling this tonight. So tonight is the last night you can get entries for this. Okay. If you want to get entries towards this guy, just take it home for free tonight. Just get, just get, get your orders in tonight. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is get your orders in tonight and you can get stuff into this. Our, uh, our lucky bag incentive will go off if this round ends. When this round ends, we will roll this guy as well. So there's a good, there's a good shot that both of these can get rolled tonight. There's a very good shot it could happen that both of these get rolled tonight. So let's, let's look forward to that. We do have two breaks going, or two breaks going on right now. Uh, currently, the two breaks are for the Machamp V Alternative Art and the Mew EX SAR from Shiny Treasure, both in a gem in 10. Uh, one is one in 35, one is one in 40. Uh, both are moving. They're both moving pretty fast. So get your entries in on this, or here's an alternative. Buy a lucky bag. A lot of lucky bags do offer spots on these, uh, which are worth it. A lot of the people who have won those uh, breaks before have gotten their entries through lucky bags. And then they're just like, wait, I won? And then they win. They're like, oh, okay, sweet. And that, that happens. Uh, besides that, these are the lucky bags we currently have left in this round. Uh, we have Bellsprout, Gloom, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slowbro, Diglett, Dugong, Gengar, Gyarados, Chansey, Porygon, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite, and Arcanine. Alrighty, so those are the remaining lucky bags in this round. There are two big high tiers remaining to my knowledge. Um, and that's at, at, at least two. I know at least two remaining. There could be more, but I'm po I'm positive at least two. So that's, that's good news. There could be more, though. I might have stacked it more than I remember. Regardless, looking forward to tonight. Should be a good stream. Uh, like I said, six LBs. If we don't hit any, any high tiers in the next six, we will roll incentives. Or not incentives. We will roll... Uh, uh, reserves. If we do hit one, then we'll roll reserves at eight. We're going to make it as fair as we possibly can for everybody, so everybody has a fair shot at getting one of the high tiers. If you want to make an order, now is a good time. Like I said, once people start getting the notification for stream and getting in here, and uh, people are aware that the LBs are in the back half, it usually things start to move a little quickly. So, how are you? Hope you're all having a great day, and uh, yeah, looking forward to tonight. Should be a fun one, right? I, th I think we got a fun stream ahead of us. I think we got a, a fun stream. All right. So let's switch the camera angle. Let's refresh the queue and take a look at what is going on here. Okay. All right. 
Let's see. Q is open. So everyone's, whoever wants to make first order, feel free. Uh, first order always gets like a little extra something. So keep that in mind as well. Let's take a look. How many spots on me? How many spots on Mew? Uh, currently, there is 19 spots taken on Mew, and there's 35. So there's like 16 left, I believe. 16, about 16 left. All righty. Um... You get my entries late last night toward the end of stream. I remember, yeah, you had four, three from your credit, one from the order made. I made another order of 20 in OG after the credit, so I thought it would let you know about that since you tracked it and all. Okay, wait, I did have it already there, because so you have six. All right, sweet, cool. So, looking forward to tonight, everybody. Uh, if anybody wants to do a battle, you can do a battle for the LBs to get to reserves. You can do that if you want. If you just want to rock it out with your, rock out with your, you know what out, you can just solo, ba you can solo the bags. If you want to get multiple and just see what happens, try your luck, that can happen. If you want to do a random bag, you can do it that way. I know last night, B-Legs was doing a lot of random bags, and he was, he was having varying success. The first round, he, had, he did really well. The second round was pretty good. And then the third round was like, I think he lost like 25 bucks in, with, a, with a $300 order. But like when you consider a $300 order only losing 25 bucks, this is not, this is not bad at all. Imagine buying like a $300 Japanese vintage pack. It, <laughs> in the bad end, you, you make 20, 30 bucks. It's like, it's like bad, right? So it's, you know what I mean? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, so you have, okay, just make sure. Are you baptizing people on the side? Yes. $250 per, um, per, per baptize. <laughs> yes. $250 and I will baptize you. I don't, I'm not, I can't legally do that, but am I illegally? Is do you need to legally be allowed to baptize somebody? If probably, well, I can illegally baptize you for $250. <laughs> All right, man, that's cheap. Only $2 to get baptized. He sounds a good deal to get my soul saved. <laughs> Cheap, 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 cheap. All right. So, anyways, looking forward to tonight, y'all. And uh, yeah, let's have a fun stream ahead of us. Oh yeah, we're also pretty close. I believe. Let me. Let me. I believe we're pretty close to rolling this guy as well. Uh, this is the Espion Marumia Gemint 10, uh, 1.5k sales. We would roll it. It's a free giveaway that we're doing. So if you want to get in on that, like I said, just make an order tonight and you will get in on it. I think we are about a hundred something dollars off from rolling it yesterday. So do what we're 130 short. Boom. There you go. $130 short of rolling that. Will we get that tonight? Odds are, yeah. We yeah, I'd bet I'd bet money we will. So get your entries in for that. You can win a free Marumia 10. It's easy. It's easy freebie stuff. I dropped my cap. I dropped my cap. No cap. <laughs> I get it. No cap. Because I think. Anyway. Um, okay. Anyways, we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of talk bullshit until we get our orders in, and then we'll just kind of we'll roll from there. So let's read chat. Uh, you need to be ordained. I can le I can legally though. We're 130 short. Does a priest need a license? So we're going to roll most likely. Most likely, yeah, we we'll be rolling. Whether it's like, here's the here's the thing about Wednesday streams. Wednesday streams have a have an order of how things typically go. Wednesday streams for for whatever reason, as of the past few months, start off a little slow and then they just pick the fuck up very quickly. So why that happens, I don't know. Maybe something about Wednesdays and YouTube's notification system. I, I genuinely don't know. Tuesdays are pretty quick to the jump. Wednesdays take a little bit. Thursdays are varied. And then Fridays are varied. It just, it just like, it's very weird. YouTube notifications regarding stuff is very goofy on Wednesdays. I've no, I've, I have noticed that. So we kind of just chill out Wednesdays. And I let you know if you're here and interested. But if you haven't gotten here yet, well, clearly you're not going to know about it until you get here. And then we kind of roll from there. Um, so let's take a look. I, I did want to talk about something that I, I noticed last night. Uh, I was watching. Well, I, I will say I'll say this way. I was re-watching. I was re-watching. Um, Mr. Rock Sandy's uh, video. I was re-watching his video regarding, um, what's it called? I was re-watching his video regarding the whole pumping situation in the market currently. And when I was re-watching it, I saw in the comments that somebody had made a comment and they were like, yo, the fucking Morty's conviction is doing it. It's it's happening to that card now. So if you don't know the Morty's Conviction, uh, what's it called? Morty's Conviction is 
the SIR or the SAR from uh, Wild Force, the SIR from Temporal Force is the one where Morty's chilling with Gengar. It, like it looked like an outdoor cafe type shit. Very nice card. Very cool card. I like the English one more than I do the Japanese one in terms of the amount of text in front of Gengar. Uh, Japanese one, it feels like you got Mike wazowski where it's if you don't get that, it's because in the movie they put text in front of him all the time in the commercials. Uh, in, in the English one, it's not as bad. All right? It's not as bad. Japanese one, I still love the texture. It's fantastic. Uh, great fucking card. Uh, but the English one, you know, you see a little more. You see a little more of uh, a Gengar. So... <laughs> I'm going to go out on a whim here and say somebody saw the volume, which the volume of that specific SI, I mean, all the SIRs have low volume. Like if you look, if you go on TCG player and you look at all the, the volume of all of the SIRs for temporal forces, all of them are sub 100, like all of them. So when you consider that, when you just consider that all these cards are sub 100, uh, volume. So that means there's sub 100 cards available for sale on TCG player. TCG player for the English market is usually the most looked at thing to evaluate the price of a single. Most people don't use eBay because a lot of people think it's too all over the place. There's too many variables, but TCG player is just rock fucking solid. Do I agree with that? No, I don't. However, a lot of people do that. They do. They think TCG player is God's word when it comes to card prices. So right now, on, t on TCG player, Temporal Forces, if you look at the amount of cards available on the market, you have like Iron Crown SAR or SIR. $80 listings, market price $84, 58 listings. That's pretty, pretty solid. Okay, pretty solid. Okay. Then you have like Raging Bolt, $64, Market 68, 49 listings. That's good. Walking Wake, $48, Market 51, 41 listings. Pretty good. Then we get to Morty's Conviction. Four listings from $99 to $150. There are purchase prices at for it, this and this is how it goes up since since literally let me look since the ninth let's go to the ninth since the ninth there were prices at thirty five dollars and immediately went from thirty five to forty from forty five or forty to forty five forty five to fifty fifty to seventy prices and everyone under seventy got bought out an eighty three dollar sale two eighty nine dollar sales and then somebody bought the only lightly played copy. The only LP copy on the entire market, somebody bought it, $47. So now all that's left on TCG Player for the near mint copy of the card is a $100 uh, Gengar or <laughs> varying condition $150 copies from that one fucking store that abuses prices. So people aren't going to want to admit this, but this is low-key worse than the gasoline. <laughs> Because this is... Gasly went up like 20 bucks. This thing just fucking tripled in price overnight. And, um... Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't have volume correcting it. It's just fucking there. So that... And, and because it's a very hard card to pull, I don't think you're gonna see mass listings of this thing changing that. This is a little scary, but it is... <laughs> it is what it is. It's funny as fuck. Um, luckily I picked up like five copies on eBay for 30 bucks, like two weeks ago. Um, one of those orders never got shipped and I got a message from the seller today that they canceled it. So that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. But that's kind of funny. Just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Cause I thought it was really funny. I, I, I talked to, I was talking to OB about it earlier and I just thought it was really funny. Anyways. Let's read chat. Uh, Melissa said, what up? And became a member. What's up, Melissa? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Imagine someone in chat not knowing Monsters, Inc. What's Monsters, Inc.? It's where you, <laughs> you rub them a little too hard and they, they ink. I'm watching. I'm always watching. I'll get my paperwork done, ma'am. Welcome back to the gamers. Melissa, thank you. Monsters, Inc. is the best. This is your fault, Dama. Yeah, it all stemmed from... Now, I don't think it's all my fault. I don't think it is at all. But it's all my fault. <laughs> You should do a stream where you make heart hand gestures like you're talking, but you don't talk. Just to mess with everybody. The market said they want... <laughs> now you won't stop yapping about Gengar. Nah, I could give... I like... It's... We've, we've been there with Ghastly. I, I care... I like I liked the Ghastly card more. 
Um, Gengar's the the, Gen the Morty's conviction's cool. It's it's cool, but like you know, uh, Monster Zinc was such an interesting level in KH three two. At least as I was. Don't disrespect Gengar, my boy, my sweet boy Gengar. He will he will always he will always live on. Doesn't matter what set he's in, he will, he will get pumped to his his respected value. If any Gengar card is not over two hundred dollars, get it the fuck out. It, pump it, pump it. Anyways. I thought that was funny. I thought that was something fun to share. Um, I don't even know if any eyes are like on this or anybody know. Like, I, I talked to. I don't even know if I talked to Nick about it. I told him about it. No, we talked about. Um, we were talking about that Pokey Collect guy who was pumping shit and then did a 180. But I don't think we. Um, I don't think we talked about. I don't think we talked about that. I sent him things about it because I thought it was really funny, but I don't think we talked about it. But anyway, anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah. So how are y'all doing? That's that's the only interesting thing in the market I can think of. Besides that, I can't really think of anything else. Somebody tweeted out 40 minutes ago. Oh, oh nah, they pull in a ghastly to Morty's conviction. <laughs> Someone said, bro, I don't even have one EX from the set yet. I'm still playing catch up, but I, want the, I don't want this shit to get expensive again. <laughs> they doing crazy shit to this set. <laughs> no shit, man. If it happens once, it's bound to fucking happen again. Oh, Lord, man. Oh, Lord. That's funny. It's, it's goofy. It's goofy. Shit's fucking goofy. It'd be, it be goofy. And you're gonna see it all over Twitter and Reddit. People losing their shit. It's gonna be very funny. It will be. Go it'll be very goofy. I mean, <laughs> I I was done with the Ghastly arc because I was just waiting to see what PSA 10 prices were gonna do. Just because of like the quality is not the greatest on them. Uh, that could go one of two ways. Nick brought up a very good point with like it depends on the the amount that are printed and it depends on the prints. Uh, the current print first print doesn't seem great. So if the first print is just very big and they don't need to do a second print for a while. PSA 10s are going to be lower, which can attribute to the card being higher. Um, but we're not going to know the true price of the 10 until post, like, the FOMO fucking sales. So that's going to be interesting. But now we have... Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> but now we have to, like, uh, kind of just play on standby and watch as the whole shit show goes down with Morty now. Let's read chat. Uh, Mad Man's disappeared. Pump the Gengar EX to 6.9. I'm down. Charges are getting outshined by the... <laughs> <laughs> it's goofy man it's goofy it's fun it's f like it's f it's fun to watch from the sidelines it's very fun to watch like just seeing like overnight a price of a card just like because literally last night well because i'm pretty sure i sent a picture of this to nick last night and it was like there was like over 40 listings for the gengar the the morty's conviction and they were all like 38 bucks which is still up because the card was selling at 30 all like two, three weeks ago. It was like you get sales at near mint sales at 30. And now it went up to like 40. And then now it's selling at 89, 60, 70. <laughs> and by selling, I mean there are sales. This could all be the same person. Probably is. Or if it's not the same person, it's multiple people. But it's still, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, it's funny to watch. I'm going to assume it's the goon squad that fucked with the ghastly. Uh, those, that, that, those who shall be unnamed, the, the goon squad, the whatnot gang. Um, I would just like, I would like to see a picture come up of like somebody just having like hundreds of these, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Cause I don't think there's enough on market to justify that. You know what I mean? Like I, I, buying 40 of a card on TCG player is not going to make you have hundreds of cop you know what i mean i just don't think there's enough volume on the market yet it's very uh, it's interesting to say the fucking least very interesting anyways let's do chat charge are getting outshined by the <laughs> whatnot vibes yeah basically speak your mind t yeah she's feeling herself today she's hugging her pikachu plush oh <laughs> that's a nice shirt Tom. thank you metri i just got it today it was by what was the store called it's a, it's a store called Cotton On, and it's it was way too much, but I really liked it, and I never buy clothing for myself. And I was like, let's... 
I was like, let's my, let's do it. Yeah, when we were walking by, my saw it, and I was like, that's nice. She's like, that's real nice. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. And then we tried it, and I was like, yo, it feels, it's comfortable. That's the biggest thing. It's comfortable. It feels nice. Uh, 250 of baptism. Yes. I didn't answer your comment on my video yet. Well, it was vegetarian. <laughs> Bro, fucking the best. She's waving by. Tegan. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. <gasps> See you later. <gasps> Come here. Come here. Come give me a kiss. Come here. Come here. Love you. Oh, she wanted this. Can you do it? Mwah. Can you do it? No, it's okay. Bye-bye. Bye See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so damn cute. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I never buy clothes and I'll go to Target and spend $70 on collection boxes. Dude, I fucking feel you. It's like spending spending $70 on Pokemon cards? Okay. $70 on clothes? Whoa. Yo, I don't... I'm not that guy. No thanks. I'm not getting scammed today. Can I have a kiss? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scandalous. But yeah, it's fucking. I don't know. It like every now and then I'll buy I'll buy something clothing wise that's like one item too much, but it's very comfortable. I never like go crazy with clothes. Pokemon, sure, all day. Hell no, Mitch. I like my target has the value fruit of the loom next. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little target secret right now. You you guys want to know something that's going on at Target literally right fucking now? Tomorrow, Target has a 20% off all trading cards deal only for tomorrow. If you're part of their circle thing, and you know what they Jake they just stocked Target with today, or today or tomorrow 6 a.m. depending on where you're at. What what Target? They packed Target. They stocked the old um, Eevee's tins, the four pack Eevee tins with two evolving skies, and they also packed the Hisuian uh, final Evo tins with two evolving skies. And it's like twenty bucks and twenty five bucks. So you get two Evo skies in both of those tins. One's fifteen bucks. One's twenty five bucks. Take twenty percent off that tomorrow. I'm just saying. Before Reddit loses their shit about it uh, tomorrow, I'm just going to let you in on it. I went to Target today, and I, I saw them, and I was like, yo, these used to have Evo. And then I looked at the back date, and it was 2022. I was like, yo, these should have Evo. And I only bought one of each because I didn't want to like buy like three, and they were all Scarlet and Violet. So I, I went in. I bought one of each, and on the way back, me and Mai looked at them, and they, they both had Evo. So going to go back there tomorrow, maybe pick up three of each. There's, like, so many of them. Like, I don't want to take away from everybody else in their shot. I'm not going to pull a fucking Mad Rats and buy out the fucking store. But I'd li I'd like to get another shot at Evo. You don't get a shot at Evo often, or if you do, you, you have to fucking... You have to literally overpay, like, crazy for it. I'm not trying to do all that. But that's just something to let you guys know about. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> anyway... Let's take a look at what we got here, baby. All right, we got some stuff here. So as you guys know, we are in the back half of the Lucky Bags. We have left Bellsprout, Gloom, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slowbro, Diglett, Dugong, Gengar, Gyarados, Chansey, Porygon, come on, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite and Arcanine. Those are what we have left in the current round. There are two big high tiers still chilling, waiting to get pulled. If neither are pulled, when we hit the last 10, we will start the reserves. If both are pulled, we will add a new one in and start reserves. If one is pulled, we will wait until eight are left to start the reserves, and so on and so forth. Uh, but I will tell you, the two big bags do contain two... Uh, one one of each has it. There's other stuff in there, but guarantee they both have a Charizard EX SIR and a PSA 10, which is like a 300 plus dollar card right now. I think pushing 350. Um, so it's really nice, really good value, right? You spend 100 bucks, you get a Chase card in a 10 already. You don't have to buy one five one packs at overpriced like margins. You just there you go. You can chill. You don't have to. Your, your Chase is done, right? 
You just chill there, right? But that's not what you're going to do. You're still going to buy 151 anytime you see it. You're a fiend. You know the odds of pulling a god pack is near impossible, but you're going to do it anyway. And then when you pull 1EX, you're going to be mad, and then you're going to do the same thing next week. I know you, because I am you. We are the same. Anyways, that's what's going on. We have a bunch of weekly, nightly giveaways going on uh, in, I believe, basically one more lucky bag of sales. We're going to give away this. Uh, we started this yesterday. We'll probably, we're going to end this off tonight at some point. Uh, weekly incentive will end tonight. This is your last stream to get entries in on this guy. Uh, so tonight's your last stream to get entries towards him. Imagine you buy one lucky bag and on top of your lucky bag, you take home like both of these. Pretty cool, right? $80, $90. Plus 70, you know, that's not too bad, right? And then we have, if our lucky bags end tonight, so this round, if it ends tonight, we roll the Gardevoir SAR in a Gem Mint 10. So imagine we end the lucky bags tonight, and you have the majority of entries, and you win all, you take all these home. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. A lot of free slabs that we're giving away tonight that you guys, uh, you guys have been, you know, pushing towards. So I'd, I'd like to see those go tonight. That'd be fun. Uh, we have two breaks as well that are hap that are happening. These guys are the breaks. They're 10 a spot. Best of luck. Okay, best of luck on these. Very cool shine on this card. And then this card's just like... Reminds me of like fucking... Some like Ghibli-esque type shit. I, I love it. Um, anyways, that's what's going on in terms of what we have tonight. Crimson Hop... Crimson Haze Hop Box is stock. Uh, OG Hop Box is about to sell out. And the Slab Hop Box, I believe, is pumped right now. So a Slab should be coming out of there very soon. We'll see, though. I'm not going to... I can't guarantee anything, but that's my guess. Anyways, let's take a look at Q. If no orders are in, maybe we'll push a little incentive onto the first order tonight. Slow start of the stream tonight, which is fine. It's usually how Wednesdays go. So what we'll do to incentivize an order, we will give a free OG hotbox to so the first order of the night, over 10 bucks. So you can make... If you make a $10 order, you get half your value back. Cool? Sweet. If you don't make an order... Then you don't get the free OG. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll start there. So, what's good, y'all? How you holding up? I'm very, like, I don't know, man. I'm interested to see what the like. I don't, I don't know what the fuck to expect from the damn English market anymore. I'm, I'm convinced people got bored with the Japanese market because prices just tanked. Like, it, what else would be the reason for all this? The pumping. What what else would be the reason? Are people just bored? Are they bored? I was I was bored when I bought the Gasly for sixty nine. I just bid sixty nine because I was like, "Ha, huh, he's getting his ass eaten by Gengar." That's funny. I didn't expect it to sell at that. I thought it would sell for like high thirties because it was a nice centered card, and then it sold for sixty nine. I don't know if the individual who uh, listed it pumped like, you know, bid me up to that price. And then they were like, I'm cool with losing it or get selling it at this. I like I don't know. Um, however, keyword, however. I don't know what's going on in the English market, brother. I have no fucking clue. It's, it's very goofy right now. It's very goofy. Any card that you have in your collection could just say, Oh, tonight we tonight we pump it. And then the next fucking day, your card is, you know, TCG player, <laughs> fucking hundred thousand dollars. It's so funny. Is JP tanking or is it being pumped? JP is tanking. Like, I'd say 90% of JP stuff is tanking or has tanked. However, when something tanks, you know what? It, it's a great time to do. You know, you know, it's a really good thing to do to something that tanks or is very inexpensive. Fucking pump that shit, baby. The thing about Japanese, which is difficult, is there's a lot of... There's a lot of cards. A lot of these cards in Japanese are... Like, th there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. So, it, it's very difficult to pump, like, an art rare or a character rare or something like that. There's so many of them. They're so easy to obtain. It's very hard to pump them unless you are literally buying out the entire fucking market and everybody is FOMOing in behind you. If you're not... If you don't have that perfect fucking storm, like, that happened over May, it's not likely that, you know, you can't... It's, it's not likely anything's going to come from that. Let's take a look at Q. See if anyone took advantage of the offer. Oh, maybe we are getting orders. I might just be... Hold up. We might have been getting orders. PayPal just might be, be, be being wonky. Uh, yeah, we do. We did have some orders to start off. My, my, I'm sorry, everybody. So Justin is actually the first order of the night. 
Justin said two on the mute. Justin, let's get. I'm sorry, man. PayPal is being wonky for me. It showed me that nothing was coming through, but we did have orders coming through. Justin, you're going to get spots 20 through 21, meaning we have uh, like 13 or so spots left. So, Justin, you're going to get spots 20, 21, and we have 22 through 35 left. Justin, thank you very much. On top of that, Justin, you're going to get one OG. Let me grab it for you. Ooh, nice, Justin. Your OG is going to be. Oh, it's a cute palmy marmia. Cute. Nice little freebie. Nice, cute little freebie. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Justin, let's get that for you, brother. So that's a nice little freebie you're going to get. Justin, you do have an order coming up actually right after this. So I'm going to put this off to the side for you. Um, next up, we have an order coming in from, let's see. Next up, we have an order coming in from Kazantha. Kazantha sent through $10 and said... Uh, da, 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 OG Hotbox Kazantha, we are sold out of the OG Hotbox actually. So you can either do the Slab Box, you can do the Crimson Haze Hotbox. Which one are you thinking? Uh, da, 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 da. It makes sense. All right, Dama, it's lecture time. Lecture time, I'm down. Lecture me. I wanna. I'm down to learn. I like learning. Learning's fun, especially when it's something you you enjoy. So I'm down. Or or am I lecturing? Fuck, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I do know a lot about this hobby. And then other times I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> it really depends, man. Really depends on what we're talking about. Uh, Kazanda said Crimson Haze. All right, let's do two Crimson Haze. One and two. Kazantha Crimson Haze. Let's see how this goes. Walking Wake and Poltergeist. Very cute card. I love this card. We. I was just showing off how I'm sending off... Uh, a few of these guys over to Beckett because I'd like a I'd like an SAR of Sinistra Black Label and a Black Label Poltergeist and I'd put them next to each other and they would be my sweet boys. <laughs> I would love them forever. <laughs> All right, Kazantha, not too bad, not too bad. All righty, sweet, 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 Kazantha, not too shabby. I would give you guys free ones, but I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I need to get more free ones. That <laughs> we don't have any. We swept through the free ones, literally swept through them. Next order coming through is going to be from, I believe, Justin. Let's take a look here. My man Justin sent through $100. Justin's getting that first LB of the night. Justin, let's see. Justin said, I want the poop guy. <laughs> Justin, ironically enough, kind of looks like Palmy. If you, like, drew Palmy, like Diglett, it, maybe. You know, took away the ears. It's kind of like an orange dick. Anyway, let's get you the poop guy. <laughs> the one. Oh, my sleeves. Uh-oh. All right, here we go. Let's get you the uh, the poop guy. Let's find him. Where is he? Bell Sprout, Gloom, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slow. Oh, there he is. There's a little shit stain. <laughs> our, our boy, our one and only. All right, Justin, let's get you the Diglett. All right, here we go. Left hand over. Let's find the Diglett. All right, is he here? No. Is he here? No. Is he here? Uh-uh. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not you. Not you. Not you. Looks like he's going to be a slab. It's just which one? No. Uh, okay, okay. You know what? Okay. All right. That's, you know, it's okay. All right. So, you're going to be getting from the Diglett. You're going to be getting the Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection in a Mint 9. And just this. So, this is like a, it's like a small mid-tier. I know these guys in 10 are going for about 220 to 250. So, in a 9, let's take a look. You could probably honestly crack or regrade and go for the 10. Don't I didn't tell you that, but like, let me take a look what they're going for a nine. Vaporeon V. Vaporeon V right here. Um, Vaporeon V in a nine. Sales are looking around 50, 54. So like 54, 55. 54, 55 and nine for a PSA nine. They tried to trick you. They said it, it says SGC nine for thirty bucks. The, yeah, the PSA ones are going for like fifty five. I'll, I'll send them probably like fifty five sixty. So this is actually going to be a low mid. This is a low mid. A low would be anything below fifty back. A low mid is anything like sixty to seventy five. Seventy five and w between one twenty five is mid. So this is a low mid. This is a low mid bag for you. What do we got here? What does that say? <laughs> this is a low mid. I'm not going to keep that one. Let's get you another one. Wait, where the... I guess we have to use that one. All right. I need to find my my slab sleeves and my freaking... What's it called? Sleeves. I got to find them. What the heck? 
and there's going to be from my man Justin. That is a low mid with the value of the slab. A tiny loss there, but honestly, not too bad. Uh, a low mid in another round would have just been not great at all. But this one, not too bad. Like I said, if we're looking at the card for what it is, it could probably regrade. Why it got a nine? Honestly? Centering top to bottom, slight, slight bottom, left to right. Looks good. Whitening. It's like minimal. I'd, it's like fucking minimal whitening on. I don't know why this got a nine. Literally just top to bottom. Is that why it got a nine? They're usually not that hard on uh, English modern. I'll be honest, Justin. I would, I'd regrade this. I would regrade this. If I were you, I'd regrade it. You can do whatever you want, clearly, but I'd regrade that thing. I don't, yeah, PSA 10 right now uh, for that card. PSA 10 listings are all 2, 230, 265, 250. Yeah, so I would, I'd go for it, man. I would go for it, to be honest. I'd crack and regrade. That would be my move. Um, we do offer re or grading right now this month for 35 bucks. If you want, Justin, it's part of uh, the April deal PSA has. The turnaround time's a little longer, but it's a lot cheaper for the, uh, the, the, the grading process, right? If you want to do that, you can. I'd regrade it though. Either do it on, if you want to do it on your own time, you can. If you have like a PSA uh, membership, then it's going to be a lot cheaper. But if you do it through us, you basically are paying like uh, like an extra 20. But when you, when you have a card like that, right? You know, you see what I'm saying? It's like, you're going to pay 135 If it does regrade the 10, you still make 100 overall on the card, which is nice. But that card in the 10 in general is just, it's its, it's a very nice card. Anyways. My man, Justin, the Diglett bag was a low mid. Low mid for the Diglett, which means we have, all right, we do have, what is bidding now ending? Oh, Karen's Umbreon. Yeah, I'm not fucking bidding on that. I would like to, but... <laughs> um, Right now, the bags we do have left, we have 15 left. So let's take a look here. The bags we currently have left, uh, Bellsprout, Gloom, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slowbro, Dugong, Gengar, Gyarados, Chansey, Porygon, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite, and Arcanine. So we do have some not so popular Pokemon. We do have some pretty popular Pokemon in the back 15. Reminder, if no high tier is pulled in the next five, we will go to reserves. If one of the high tiers, like the big high tiers, is pulled in the next five, we will go, we will go to reserves at eight left. So keep that in mind. If all high, high tiers are pulled in the next... Until we hit eight, I guess, then we have to add another high tier. So that's, that's kind of how it goes. Anyways, let's read. We just reached the Espeon incentive with the LB uh, purchase. All right, sweet. So we're going to be rolling the Espeon Marumia Gem at 10 tonight, no matter what. Like I said, it's like an $80 slab. So free $80 slab if you win it. That's pretty cool. Um, let's keep it going. If you sold Dragon Ball packs, my account would be in the negatives. I don't like... I love, I love Dragon Ball. I grew up with Dragon Ball. As I've gotten older, I, you know, I, I love watching Dragon Ball shorts. I love every now and then... If like I'll I'll watch a little bit of a Dragon Ball episode like Super or or Kai or whatever the fuck like I'll go back and kind of reminisce. The actual TCG for Dragon Ball I haven't I haven't bought I don't I think I bought maybe one pack ever and I think I bought I gave the contents to Hehe or Juan I forget. Um, I actually whenever I have a chance I try to open like a One Piece pack. Me and my went to this like place in the mall today and it they had like really overpriced packs for like stuff i paid 15 dollars for an op whatever the the swords one the zoro one is i paid 15 dollars for one pack but i ended up again i have fucking luck with one piece dude i ended up pulling like a 60 dollar sp of this guy his name starts with a b and it, it was like really cool looking card um i don't know how the fuck i don't like i again i don't know shit about one piece but i was like that's a cool card you forget your slab sleeves upstairs? No, the slab the sleeves I have upstairs uh, are the um, like our bags. The slab sleeves, I guarantee I have some around here. I'd, same with the bags. I just have to look for them. Me with one piece, Ozzy. Uh, I know I ran the sleeves. Not sure. Got to fifteen. What in the fuck? Yeah, no, I paid fifteen for one pack, but I ended up getting like a sixty dollar card, so I was chill. <laughs> I was chilling. I never buy. Whenever I see one piece, I buy like one, maybe two packs. One, maybe two. I never buy a lot because, like, I'm not going to push my luck. 
I already have... Dude, I've pushed my luck with Pokemon way too many times. I know what happens. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... If I lose, like, seven bucks on a Target One Piece pack that I find in the wild... Okay. Whatever. It's like, it's a, okay. <laughs> I'm like, alright. Whatever. Uh, Bellamy? No. Buggy? No. It was, um... I, I, let me find the card. It was like, uh... Let me see. The fuck is his name? Let me see. Let's take. I'll I'll tell you exactly what it is. Or the card. It was like a um. I don't know what the fuck is it. <laughs> It was this guy, eat Borsalino. I think, yeah, it was Borsalino. It was Borsalino. It was Borsalino and he was eating food. That's all I know. That's all I know. I don't know shit about One Piece, so. I've pulled it, though. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking do with it, but yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said, we're down to the last 15 of the LBs. So if you're curious, I'd suggest getting in on the old LBs tonight, right? Five more left, and then we'll get into reserves if nobody can pull a high tier. Well, one of the big high tiers. All right. So best of luck. If you make an order, let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll make a fun deal. Every lucky bag bought for the rest of tonight, you will get a free Crimson Haze hotbox on me. Imagine you buy a lucky bag, and then you get a Crimson Haze hotbox, and you pull one of the Chase SARs, and you just get your tire value back. That's pretty dang good, right? Pretty cool. Uh gross sell it but is it like a is it is it like just playable is that all it's just a playable card nothing beyond that like i said i have no clue about the fucking i have no idea i have no idea <laughs> it, it looks pretty cool it looks pretty cool like it's all right it looks all right it's pretty sweet a lot of the one piece cards look really cool i'll give them that but i'd sell them always playable all right I, sure, I'm down. <laughs> I'll fucking you can go out, you know, get some dinner or something. Ooh. Anyways, so that's that. Um, besides that, what else we got going on? What else we got going on tonight? I don't know. I I'm curious. I what what do you guys think we should do for the next themed round of lucky bags? Clearly, this this current one is one five one themed. What do you guys think for the next one? The next themed round. Maybe the next round isn't a theme round, but maybe the one after we could do a theme round. I can kind of get some cards based around it. Inside he is, isn't sure since he never got a tracking for it. It should have been sent to his email. It, it says it was sent to his email. Here, I'll send... Um, do you have... I don't, hold up. If his email is still the, the one regarding the pythons, then yeah, he should have got it. He should have gotten it. It says it was delivered, so... It says it was delivered on my end. I hope nobody took it. I, nothing I can do about that, but I hope nobody... You know. Anyways, my man Justin sent through another hundo for a lucky bag. Justin, you ready? Justin said, battle, big battle, big blue dragon. All right, sweet. So Justin wants a lucky bag battle. All right, let's see if we can get somebody to for a battle. At everyone... Justin wants to battle. Max is going to do the Guard of War meme when I post this. If you're interested in battling him for a lucky bag, get in now. All righty. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Justin, we will get you the big blue dragon. Puff the magic dragon. Here we go. Justin, let's find you the big blue dragon, who ironically enough, isn't even a dragon. It's just, it's, it, let's, dude, it breaks my heart. They, they, they take this big, giant, beautiful creature, and they're like, yo, you think he's a dragon? Watch this. Water flying. <laughs> All righty. So let's get you this. Let me grab some old, grab some old tape here. Do, do the old one, two real quick like this. Do this. I mean, Justin. Justin LB battle with the Gyarados. I mean, Justin has an LB battle for Gyarados. 
Uh, keep in mind, if one of these next bags in this battle does not have a high tier, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4. We will have 13 bags, meaning three more bags, and we will or go to reserves. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All righty. Take a look here. Move this. Take a look. Sweet. Should be golden. All righty. Does it feel it look a little foggy on this to anybody? Is that just me? Look a little foggy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe it off just in case. It looks better now. I, I can't tell why, but something about it looks cleaner. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, switch back cam over here. All right, sweet. All righty, three chat. Uh, Buggy, maybe the clown. Uh, that's my favorite OP 06 card. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't know much about the One Piece stuff. I, I would like to learn a little bit more, but I kind of the fact that I don't know anything makes it more fun. So I'm, I don't feel like learning. <laughs> All bags are mime bags except one mega mime bag. It's the mega mime. The run of the him bags. Uh, yeah, there. I don't even know if there's a him bag in this round. I don't remember. Genuinely don't. I don't remember. Mal D said, yo, what's good, Mal? How you doing? What's good? What's good? How you holding up, Mal? How you holding up? How you been? How you been, brother? How you been? I wonder if the eBay prices are reflecting the Morty. I haven't even looked at that. I know with the uh, with um, the Gasly they were, they were reflecting it. They weren't reflecting it on like card card market or um, some of the European sites. It, it was not reflecting it. Let me see. Um, Morty's no Morty's conviction S I R. Morty's conviction S I R. So the raw copy right now. Yep, it's already reflecting. It's already reflecting. People are trying to sell them for $80. People are trying to sell them right now for $80. So it's it's already reflecting on eBay. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why are you fucking... It doesn't make sense. It's just... It's fucking FOMO. It, nobody learns. Nobody... Le they'll learn the hard way. They'll learn the hard way. It's what it is. Solar, it's at three months already? Solar, thank you so much for being part of the lads for three months. Thank you so much, brother. Been, been broke. <laughs> I, feel, I feel you, man. I feel you. Oh, Solar, well, thanks, my. <laughs> By the way, Justin, you also, Justin, while you wait for a battle on your Gyarados, you still have the option if you want to get a, another solo bag for yourself. You can do that. It's up to you, uh, but we can hold the battle bag with the Gyarados as long as you want, um, right? We can do that, but if you want to get one for yourself in the meantime, Justin, you can also do that. Reminder, uh, Justin, you did reserve a bag, so that means this, Justin. You do get a free Crimson Haze hotbox. I owe you one of them because that was the rule. Every lucky bag bought, you get a free Crimson Haze hotbox tonight. So, Justin, let's see. We got you. Ah, it's an Iron Leaves. That means the next one is probably going to be a hit. Justin, Iron Leaves is like a, you could call it a Dudski basically, but you know, you know, you know, <laughs> we'll put it in with your slab that you got earlier, but dang, it's, it's not a good hit. <laughs> oh yeah, Justin, I didn't give you your freebie. Your freebie, Justin, by the way, is a uh, Eevee Hero Sleeve. That's that, that is the, I think I have one left. So the next technical order, we'll get, we'll get that. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, I actually wanted that Morty card because it was cheap. Missed out. I mean, like, here's my worry with the Morty. Here's and then here's here's my worry with the Ghastly. I knew going into that card, like, when we saw the manipulation happening, I knew it wasn't gonna last. Everybody knew it was probably not gonna last. Like the card being fucking literally like 40 50 fucking dollars like clearly it was not gonna it, that's it was not gonna be sustainable sales around 20 to 30 depending on condition that seemed believable which is still up from where it was it was around 10 to 12 so that card the 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 manipulation affected it to be a more expensive card however it's a lot easier to pull the gengar that motherfucker is not easy to pull so i don't know how i don't i don't I do not see the price of that one just declining fast. I don't I don't see it happening. That thing is going to probably sustain its price up there for a bit. And then people are going to want it 
because it's a great card and all of a sudden people are gonna fucking pay at these crazy dumb expensive highs that don't make sense and then all of a sudden you have a new low for the card and it's just like it's it's stupid it's stupid but at the same time look at what people are doing with all like the sword and shield alt arts right now a lot of people do not know self-control and when they see things going boom they want to get in on it they want in they want to know what's happening i want a piece of the pie don't you if my if your cards go boom i want the card to go boom i want card go boom why wouldn't i i want to be mega rich with big card it's like I like I get it. I get it. It's just it's very it's interesting, right? It's interesting. It is quite interesting. Yeah, literally all today. So not not today, but all the sales of the Morty's conviction uh on eBay, all the sales of the card are like around 60 on eBay as of April 8th and April 9th. Um there hasn't been a sale today because the market for the card, the price of the card has literally shifted from a 50 or like a 40 to 50 dollar buy it now to now 75 minimum and all the bids are going up so it's like rut row raggy they fucking did it again <laughs> only four listings on tcg player none are being added either when the ghastly was being manipulated uh listings were being added very quickly so is what it is let me take a look at q by the way if anybody wants to get on q you know what to do all right, we'll take a look at Q. Uh, Q is open. If you want to make an order, reminder, Justin is looking for a Lucky Bag Battle participant. All right, so somebody that wants to battle Justin tonight, you know what to do. Just send in a hundo, say battle, and name which one you want. Very simple. Everybody that does a Lucky Bag tonight will receive a free Crimson Haze hot box on your boy. Uh, hopefully, you can pull a, what's it called? A damn... Um, uh, an SAR with your one free. That would be really cool. I would I would like that personally. Um, but yeah, Justin's waiting on an LB battle. If anybody wants to join him for a nice little battle, you know what to do. Okay. Uh, there is a PSA 10 auction currently at 255. Let me take a look. Is it really? I know. I know. There's only like if we go to if you search up Temporal Forces PSA, Temporal Forces PSA, um, and then you go to T E F E N. Let's take a look. There's 108 cards graded. This will change every day. Uh, 10 of them, or 58 of them are 10s. 48 of them are 9s. Two of them are 8s. So it's basically like almost half-half in terms of 9s to 10 ratio. That's not looking great for a lot of a lot of cards. Uh, currently, when you look at the Mortys, there is two 10s, two 9s. So it's just split. There's four cards graded with it right now. There's probably going to be... There's definitely more. It's just they haven't been sent back. So that's interesting. Let's see the. Let's see eBay. Let's take a look. Morty's Conviction S-I-R-P-S-A. Yeah, there's one in bid right now. $255 currently in bid. Uh, okay. And then when you consider the other S-I-R 10 prices, it's like, okay. It kind of checks out. I'm curious if it'll stay at that price, though. Will it stay at that price? Or will it get more expensive in bid? I don't know. I do not know. It ends in two days and 16 hours. Due to what's going on with uh, Morty Raw, the Raw card, I expect this thing to go up more in bid. I expect people to bid more. Just because it's going gonna, it's gonna to result in FOMO. And whatever it ends at, people are going to be like, that's the value of the card. It's fucking, it's always supposed, it was always supposed to be 400 and a 10 consistently. It's gonna, it's gonna be wonky. I bet a lot of money you're gonna have. Um, I bet a lot of money. Here's what, here's what I'm betting money on. You ready? This is what's gonna happen because it, it will happen. I guarantee fucking it. A possum, Nick. I love him. He's gonna make a video on it, and he's gonna call out how stupid it is and say exactly what's happening, just like I'm telling you. But here's what's gonna happen. Nick has a voice in the community, and when he says something, people have eyes on it. When I say something, you guys listen to me and you're like, "Yeah, that makes sense." When he says something, it's almost it's like a it's like a subtle rev effect. It's like when he says something, there are people that will use that for bad intent. Um, when Rev says something, holy shit, <laughs> then shit gets moving. So here's what could happen: one. Uh, if Rev decides to open up fucking Temporal Forces again, I'm pretty sure there might be a point where if he does mention anything regarding that card, eyes are on it. 
if Nick mentions it in, in a video, how it's being manipulated, eyes are on it. Um, that's the that's the inevitable. So I don't. I think I think it's gonna. It's this isn't like the ghastly where I think it will inevitably come down a lot, like wh wh right back to where it should be, or at least a price where we can all be like, okay, it's a little high, but all right. With the Morty SIR or SIR, it's very fucking hard to pull. SIRs are super hard to pull. Um, it's going to depend on how many are out there and how many are getting listed. And if there's not a lot, sorry, boys, but we all got goofed. <laughs> We're all going to get goofed. And there's going to be a new low, and it's not going to be not going to be great. That's how pumps go, though. Go and try and buy an Umbreon V Altar right now. It's just it's just like that. It's like good luck if you really want it. Good luck, right? It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Oh, I didn't even give fucking Justin. I got to give you your what's it called. I didn't put your palmy in your uh, your bag, brother. What am I doing? What am I doing out here? Alrighty. I want to rain check four LBs. A match. <laughs> you want to rain check four? Oh yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, I can't buy this Morty this high. I'm just going to buy the JP one. Better quality and cheaper. Lol. Yeah. So the the Japanese uh, Wild Force Morty uh, is it's a fantastic card, man. The, the biggest issue I have with it again, and I told I talked about this earlier. The biggest issue I have with the card, the Japanese one. Versus the English one. Morty's Conviction. So Morty's Conviction SAR. If you look at the Morty's Conviction SAR versus the... Actually, wait a minute. Am, was I talking shit? Mm. Huh. I was talking shit. Actually... Whoa... Is it like the same? So the English one cuts out Gengar's pupil, <laughs> but you can see both of his pupils in the in the Japanese one. Bro, did I just debunk myself being biased? Was I just biased to English for the first time ever? Holy fuck. Nah, man, they both they both look basically the fucking same. Actually, I'd I'd argue the Japanese one looks better. <laughs> It looks, you can see Gengar's, hold up, look at this. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. Um, <laughs> this is so fucking funny, dude. All right, look. So look at the English one. Look at the English one. Look at the English one, right? You can see Gengar's one pupil, but one's covered. But then if you go to the Japanese one, right, can we see it better right here? You, you can see it right here, though. You can see it in the corner. You see how you can see both of his pupils and it, it looks menacing. Ah, dude, I'm fucking, I'm goofing. I just, I just exposed myself. I caught myself lacking. Holy shit. I like the Japanese one more, I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, I always typically like the Japanese copies more, but damn, now that I'm seeing that. Wow. Um, Dama, I'm dying to know why did you think the Ghastly did not act like the Magikarp from Pal Day evolved last year? So there's a couple reasons why the Ghastly wasn't gonna do what Magikarp done did. Here's the here's the raw copy at least. Um, Magikarp, there are over 36 plus illustration rares in Paldea Evolved. Now Ghastly and Magikarp are both illustration rares. The pull rate of them on average per booster box is like three a box typically so that's around a one in 13 odds from booster boxes when you consider um like you know like fucking sleeves like three pack blisters booster bundles etc it might be a little more it might be a little less give or take so on average you're gonna pull more ghastlies than you would magic carp the other thing magic carp has a history on the market currently where the PSA 10s are very limited in comparison to the total pop. Why is that important? That means that majority of Magic Carp are looking like shit or looking like they will not grade 10. The result of this makes the PSA 10 copy way more expensive, meaning this card is way more sought out after and people will pay way more for the raw price to potentially 5x their value on it by grading it. Here's the problem with Gasly. Ghastly 
is easier to pull based on strictly odds. It is the same exact fucking odds to pull one based on illustration rares or the illustration rare pull rate, but based on the amount of illustration rares, it is harder. So it's harder to pull than the magic card, or it's easier to pull than the magic card. On top of that, the Ghastly is new. It's a new card that is out. Sure, lots of the raw copies are very right heavy. I am I am the one motherfucker who can attest to this. I, I know for a fact a lot of them are never going to grade 10. However, again, it depends who's grading them. It depends when they're getting graded. It depends how many shit copies are getting graded. There's so many factors into it, and there's no data for the Ghastly with PSA yet. So for the raw copy, it can easily be manipulated, and it can easily come back down. And on top of that, we don't have any data for the 10s. If Here's what will happen with the Ghastly. This is, I'm going to tell you exactly what will fucking happen. You can quote me on this verbatim. The Ghastly is going to do one of two things. It's going to stay where it's at for a while until the PSA 10 prices start coming out, the PSA population start flooding the market, and if that card is like a sub 20% 10, like not many copies are grading 10 at all, and there's tons and tons of fucking nines, the raw value will go back up and the 10 price will go up and people will start to, in the future, be like, oh, it's the little magic carp. It's not as hard or it's not as hard as the magic carp to pull, but maybe the PSA 10 population can kind of carry the raw price back up a little bit. Will that happen? We don't know. You don't fucking know. To speculate that that will 100% inevitably happen no matter what is fucking stupid. You don't know. Nick brought up a great point. What if they can start printing Temporal to the fucking ground? We don't know if that'll happen. We do know that Distribution had way less Temporal Forces than they did previous sets. So that's something we do know for certain. However, we don't know if they're going to reprint it. And if they do, maybe every single Ghastly that comes out of the reprinted fucking... Uh, you know, the reprint. What if all of them are perfect? What if all of them are great? It's that could happen. We don't know. So the ghastly being where it is, is a mixture of pump, a mixture of demand, a mixture of population. It's a good mixture of everything. It's a, it's a nice little, it's like you're making the fucking power puff girls. It all makes sense. It works. It's like, Oh, you do this. And you're going to get a little fucking badass kid that can kill monsters. It's great. Works. Uh, but in the case with the Ghastly, it's like, we forgot a couple things here. It's, whoops, we, we, we don't have enough data. It's, it's clear this thing got manipulated, like really manipulated. And on top of that, the only thing it really has going for it that can fight its price is like desirability and a lot of copies are right heavy. But again, it's the first print. We don't know if there will be more. There you go. That Hopefully that explains it. Um, the problem with the Gengar SIR, or not the Gengar SIR, the Morty's Conviction, card's really fucking hard to pull. There's not going to be a fuck ton on market in comparison to the amount being sold, or the amount being sold. So if demand is crazy up for this card, or people manipulate it, the price is going to stay pretty high. That's my worry for the for the Morty's. Yeah, did it, did it, I accuse the other three Gengar cards in the set. Uh, I see... I, accu I accuse the other three... What, what's going on with the Gengar full art? Did that thing go up? Uh, you and the Reddit guy, unless you're the same person. Yes, that is my alt account. <laughs> That's my alt. Now, the thing, the thing the Reddit guy was stupid as fuck about was that... And I don't know if he's baiting. I don't know if he's baiting. Because you got to remember, when somebody's trying to push traction on something, they will bait. They'll, they'll, they'll talk shit. They'll either act like a fucking idiot... Or they will be so hard-headed into their own thoughts, they won't agree with anybody else. Um, so I don't know which it is. Again, I don't know who the fuck that person or this group of individuals is. But if they are hard-headed and believe what they say, then they think, even though there's no data, just because the card's right heavy, it's going to be fucking expensive as shit. Nobody knows that yet. We don't even have a sale. We don't. We have one sale of the card at like 300 bucks, but that could very, be very well be one of the individuals who bought out the fucking card. We don't know. I don't think the card's staying at 300 and at 10. I don't fucking think that. If, for at least for now, you, you need data to back that up, and there's none yet. Um, it is. Dom likes to talk to himself, and he he's a bitch. <laughs> Let me take a look at Q real quick. 
I just like talking the market. It's fun. The market be be fun. It'd be fun. Uh yeah, no, Magic Magic Carp is kind of Magic Carp kind of be inevitable right now. He he being a goofy lad. And then Magic Carp is still going up right now. He being a goofball. He being a little bit of a goofball. I think it it took people long enough. Dude, I made a video back like a month and a half ago about how the Magic Carp is a great fucking buy. It's like it was like $60 and the PSA 10 prices were pushing 5 and now people are like, "Oh, now we should get it." Dude, this thing has been a great buy for fucking months because there's the pop tens were so low. You had data though. You have data to back that up. Gasly, you don't have data yet. If Gasly is data, maybe you revisit that card and maybe it moves again. I don't think it will right now. Too much bullshit going on with it. What happened with this set? Why are so many things going up? Apossum said a lot of people left the JP scene because of money. Maybe they're trying to pump my Tim Fuller theory. That could be cool. Or that could be true. Japanese is pretty dead right now in terms of... Uh, like Japanese, I'm going to be very honest. Japanese sets right now, a lot of cards are super, super inexpensive. When you take away the super inexpensive cards and you take away the chase factor of a set, especially Japanese sets, it's like Japanese sets are, you, you have to, you have to be like, you have to like, I'm not going to say grow up. You have to be very normalized to opening a Japanese box because it's very different from English. With Japanese, you have one hit card. You have your guaranteed X, Y, and Z, and that's it. And that's fucking it. With English, you have shots of any and everything, as many as whatever. Japanese is not like that. Japanese is very stuck to its fucking ways. It's not changing. So with Japanese, you're taking if, if you throw in some crazy chase card that's very hard to pull on top of like... A box that's super expensive. It's like, it makes sense why there's a lot of hype surrounding it. When you take all that shit away and all that's left is like some pretty decent cards with really cheap boxes, it's just like nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to fucking care. Everybody, and nobody give a fuck. Nobody give a fuck. Like, ain't nobody care. It's just like, they're just like, oh, like I love Japanese. I love Crimson Haze. The new set's fantastic. Mask of Change. I'm excited for that. So many good fucking cards. Very cheap, by the way. Um, but a lot of people just lost the... There's no more pump. There's no more hype. There's no more value in Japanese for a bit. So people are moving on to the next best thing. They're like, oh, what can we do next? Hey, yo. TCG player said Temporal Force's hit rates are harder. Yo. I don't, yeah, I don't know. English quality controls dog shit anyway, so... You could fucking pump anything that has dog shit quality control and justify it. It's like, it, it all makes sense. It's just stupid. It's fucking dumb. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. So, Justin, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you, Justin. You still have your Gyarados LB. Do you still want to hold it for a battle? It's been a minute since anybody has tried to... Get a battle going with you, Justin. If you want to do it solo, you can do it solo. Uh, but if you want to hold it for a battle and do another, you can also do that. I will offer that to you. Uh, but let me know, man. Let me know. Uh, my guess as to why people are going hype mode with uh, Temporal Forces, though, is because... Here's my theory. Why people are going hype hype mode with Temporal Forces. TCG player announced that hit rates are harder. That alone will give everyone reason to be like, oh shit. You know what we could do with this shit? Pokemon said battle. Hey, Pokemon wants to battle Justin? Let's fucking do it. Um, I was talking about the guy in Discord. Not right now, you fool. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, hee hee, fuck you. Anyways. Yeah, no, it's it's goofy, it's goofy. It be goofy. It do be goofy. It's a, it's a it's a whole lot of goofiness, man. It's a whole lot of goofiness. It's a whole, it's a goofy fucking movie, dude. It's a goofy movie. Like here's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Here's 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 my theory. My theory is TCG player has um, announced the SIRs are a lot harder. And that gave people the, the go button to, you know, make things more expensive than they were. Then, uh, people that either 
and I, I want to say it's people, but it's very easy for an individual attempting this to deflect. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't make any accusations. I'm not going to say it's one person. I'm not going to say it's multiple. I don't know. There is either a person or a group of people that pumped the ghastly, um, resulting in what happened, right? There is also a group or individual that pumped the iron crown, resulting in what happened. And I think those same exact individuals or person is doing that with the Gengar or the Morty's SIR right now. I think this is, it's the same fucking, it's the same thing. And it's just, it's just cookie cutter. It's the same shit. Um, the only thing is I think they're doing it until it sticks. I, I genuinely think they're doing it until it fucking sticks. And if it keeps working, why stop? That's, I, that's the mentality. If it keep if it's still, if it's working, why stop? If they, if they're doing what they want to do and their objective works and they're making money on it, why would they stop? You know, if that's their goal and objective, why would they stop? Especially if like, here's the thing. You have a guy live on YouTube, the fucking po Pokemon collect guy. He goes, he makes videos and he's very open about pumping shit and he doesn't give a fuck. So if there's some other guy who's like, I'll just do it too. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Especially if he's doing it anonymously, nobody's going to fucking know. And then nobody cares. They're just going to bitch about it, but nobody's going to care. It's wild. It's, it's some wild shit, bro. The effect it's going to have on the market is going to be interesting, though. It's going to be interesting. Because, like, a lot of these cards that were once super affordable, guess what? Not anymore. Not anymore. Pokemon sent through 105. Let's take a look, brother. Pokemon sent through 105 and said... He said, one OG, one lucky. So, Pokemon, OG is actually out of stock. We do have Crimson Haze or Slab Hot Box if you want to do one of those. Here are the lucky bags available. We're actually getting pretty close to reserve. So either you gotta pull you or Justin gotta pull a uh, pull a nice high tier here. We're getting real close to reserves. We got Bell Sprout, Gloom, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slowbro, Dugong Gong, Gengar, Chansey, Porygon, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite, and Arcanine. Let me know which one you want, brother. Also, you do get a free Crimson Haze hotbox for every lucky bag, so let me get that for you real quick. So, Poke Pokemon, you are going to get... Let's take a look here. Hey, Terra Greninja, fighting. Fighting. T1, fight on. T1, fighting. Alrighty. It's going to be for Pokemon. We'll put that right there for now. Uh, he's at Gloom. Let's do the Gloom. Where's the Gloom? Ye old Gloom. Alrighty. Gloom, gloom, gloom. Let's get this situated. The old gloom. Pokemon with the gloom versus my man Justin. Let's see what happens here. Who's going to take it all? All right. Here we go. All right. Rolling the, an OG incentive tonight as well. OG incentive. We're rolling uh, a nightly incentive. We don't have an OG incentive right now, but we do have a nightly incentive. We have a weekly incentive. Uh, and we might have a LB incentive that we'd be rolling tonight as well. So we might be rolling three things by the end of the night. We'll see. We're definitely doing two, though. We have Gloom versus Gyarados. So we're going to take this. Just put that right there for now. Gloom versus Gyarados. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Let's switch the camera so you all can see. Gloom versus Gyarados. Here we go. I got Gyarados. And let's see where Gloom at. Okay, Gloom, where are you? And I found Gloom. Okay. Okay. We got Gloom versus Gyarados. We're about to see how this goes. You ready? Here we go. All right. So we have the Gyarados bag. Let's take a look in here. Gyarados, Gyarados, Gyarados. Gyarados. We have two basic energies. A Tangela illustration rare. Jinx EX Full Art, Giovanni's Charisma, and the Umbreon in an EX5. Mario Mia Umbreon EX5. Probably, I'm going to be honest with you, probably like $25 slab. Giovanni's Charisma, I think he's around, I think Giovanni's Riz is around like 15 bucks. I'll double check that. He might be 12. 12 to 15, we'll double check. Tangela, Jinx, we'll take a look at the value of all these really quickly. Let's take a look. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go to eBay and take a look. All right, no, we'll do TCG play. That's... <laughs> Fuck, why am I using TCG player when the prices are so fucked? Let's go. Giovanni's Charisma, which it's, it, I'm assuming is this one. Um, it's not. <laughs> Giovanni's Charisma. Let's take a look here. Giovanni's Riz. 
How much is Giovanni's Riz? Giovanni's Riz right now market uh, is ten dollars. What, Giovanni? What happened to you? Giovanni's ten bucks, uh, and I know Jinx and Tangler are about ten each as well. Um, but let's get the exact values. Let's do let's do exact values so we know what we're working with. So we have Giovanni's at ten twenty one. So this is going to be gear ten dot twenty one. And we have Jinx full art. Jinx fully. Jinx. Jinx full art. Uh, let's see. Uh, listed medium, 8.74. Okay. A little under 10 for the Jinx full art. What about Tangla? Tang. Let's see. Tangla. Tangla illustration rare uh, is looking at uh, $6.15. Damn, Tangla moved a little bit. Went down. Poor Tangela. And then we have the double basics. That's going to be a buck. And then we have the Umbreon EX5 Marmia. Like I said, it's probably going to be a 20 I'm like a 20 ish dollar slab. All said and done. So this round is going to be 21, 27, 15, 35, 89. So it's 35, 89, 45, 46, 10. 46, 10. That is a low. Gyarados is a low. He's a low tier. Not Gyarados. But Venusaur EX SIR in a mint nine. Let's take a look at him. So we also have, uh, which one's this? Gloom. Gloom. How much is Venusaur EX SIR in a nine? Vena, Vena, Vena. Vena, Vena, Vena. Venusaur. Venusaur SIR. Venusaur. Venusaur SIR. Venusaur 151. Can I do that? Can I do. Uh, Mu one five or no, one fifty one Venusaur, one fifty one Venusaur. Let's take a look here. Um, Mu one fifty one Venusaur in a nine. Let's see. Last sold. What is the last? Well, what's the? We we need like a, the average. Okay, one sale per day in a nine, and the average. Yo, let's take a look here. The average for this boy. $39.60 plus 76 tax this is probably like a $40 slab. This was a double low tier round. But Gloom was about 40 and Gyarados was 46. So that means the winner, unless there's more in here, I don't think there is, but let's take a look. No, it was just this. It was just the 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 old Vina. How is Vina in a nine the same price as the raw cut? I mean, I guess because it's not 10. I mean, I, I, yeah, checks out. It, dude, this could regrade at 10. What the fuck? Doesn't have any whitening. Top or top, uh, top left, bottom right, top right. Tiny white dot, bottom left. Centering looks fine. What the fuck's wrong with it? Uh, I guess that. Like maybe it's that. I have no idea, dude. I, like, maybe that. All right. It looks like the winner is going to inevitably be. Justin. Justin's going to win by like six bucks. Six dollars and ten cents. So Justin. Justin, Justin, Justin. You're going to win six dollars, ten cents on that one. I would... I, I, would I regrade that, Vina? I don't know. He's He does... Like, he doesn't... The back, he looks good. But the front, I could see why maybe a nine. But like, again, I'm like... I don't know. Pokemon, you're still going to get your Greninja no matter what. And this is going to be Justin's. Justin L B win. Neither was the big high tier though. Neither was the big high tier. All right, let's take a look at chat. That's dude. That's kind of isn't that crazy how the market works like that now. Every single nine for English one five one is worth less or equal to the raw copy. Like I, I get it. I get it. Tens are worth more, but damn, dude, nines used to have value. Nines used to have value. There was there was a day when nines had value. So Justin, congratulations. Uh, Gloom and Gyarados will be taken out of this round. Neither was the high tier. So now there are three bags left until we go into reserves for this round. If nobody pulls one of the Zard 10s in the next three bags, we go to reserves. But if you pull one, then we wait till eight. So... You know what I mean? The gloom of doom. <laughs> All right. So the next bags we have, or the last bags we have, let's show you. All right. You pretty much have to crack it. Yeah. I, I mean, I would go for it. I'd crack it and regrade it. It's honestly worth it. 
you know what I mean? It, it's worth to do it if you're regrading at a cheaper rate. If you're if you're regrading at a higher rate, then it's not. But if if you're doing a lower rate, it's worth it. Uh, Bell Sprout, Caterpie, Squirtle, Slowbro, Dugong, Gengar, Chansey, Porygon, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite, and Arcanine. The last thirteen of the one five one themed round. Two big high tiers still chilling in the midst. Best of luck. Best of luck. I want to see what's going on on the, the old Ebays with this. Yeah, somebody literally just just now bought a Morty's SIR for $70 on eBay. It's already happening. Yeah, so the Morty effect, the Morty effect on TCG players reaching other markets. It's inevitable. It's fucked. It's it's fucked. It's fucked. Oh, there goes me wanting to potentially buy a few of those. I was hoping to buy like a few, a few more. <laughs> it's that's not happening now. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Alrighty. Let's take a look at Q. Fuck, man. Can't have shit around here. Can't have shit around here as a Gengar collector. This is fucked. <laughs> Oh man, Pokemon sent through a hundo. Let's take a look for you, Pokemon. Pokemon sent through a hundo and said, Gengar. My man. All right, Pokemon. My question is, do you want to do a battle or would you like to do solo? Let me know, brother. Regardless, let's get you the Gengar. Gengar. Where is he? Gengar, my sweet, sweet boy. I love him. I love Gengar. My sweet boy. All right, let's get you. Do I need? I will need more energies. I need more energies. Okay, hold up. I got to grab more energy, like a pile of energy cards so I can write your guys' names on. I don't have any more right here. Unless, I, is this one? Hold up. That doesn't count. Hold up, stay right here. I probably have one right here on this. English cards and we're just gonna call it a day and I'm gonna find the energies and we'll just go from there all right that's fine let's take out the energies there's one <laughs> this will work there's two that'll work there's three nice dude this is easy it's like I'm sorting cards this is fucking cool all right there's there's another <laughs> here we go we're gonna need these too because if we get into uh reserves I, like I'm, I'm inevitably going to need these it's not like this is just for shits and gigs I'll I'll need these Wait, this energies are different for these ones because this is sword shield. Let's just get all these situated, all the energies out. I feel like I'm working at a card shop right now, sorting out energies and code cards and shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, sweet. I got enough energies, I think. If not, fuck. Um, <laughs> we'll call it. We'll call it there. Alrighty, sweet. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't care. Give it like three, four minutes and open it. Sweet. So if anybody wants to battle Pokemon, you have five minutes. Justin, if you're trying to do a, another battle against Pokemon, now's your opportunity. Uh, so we got a... Wait, I, want, I wanted that like that. All right. So we got Gengar for Pokemon. Let's get him situated. Pokemon. 151. LB Reserve. Or not Reserve. Not Reserve. Battle. Battle. <laughs> I spelled battle. <laughs> it'll do. It'll it'll work. We understand what's happening. <laughs> That's what matters. Um, let's see. Let's read chat. Yeah. Uh, there's not a honey in both. Um, I just got a YouTube and it was supposed to be near mint. Uh, it's got white spotting at the back due to low ink printing and slightly left heavy. I'm guessing there's no shot of it grading a 10 what do you think uh check the psa 10 population see the percentage of the amount getting 10 and if there's a high percentage of 10s send it out anyway i'm a fan of full art cards and was waiting till i got money to buy both now hopefully bianca doesn't do anything uh english isn't big with the the waifu craze so i don't i don't know if bianca will english does love their gengars though they do love their gengars so it, the mortys make sense bianca if that happened that would be interesting. It would mean that they're just going for fucking anything. There's no rhyme or reason. If it happened when it happens with Gengar or anything pertaining to like a popular Pokemon, it's like, okay, I, I get it. Um, waifu hype 
kind of you know waifu tax hype whatever the fuck you want to call it that shit died down so i don't i don't expect that to occur but you never know it maybe if they, if it happens to bianca i'm telling you there's no rhyme or reason absolutely none it, it could be a, it could be anything at that point all right so pokemon you also will get all right you will be getting with your uh with your what's it called with your round you will be getting a free crimson haze so let's grab one for you nice you're gonna get bondage machine <laughs> the ace spec bondage machine so you're gonna get that no matter what let me put that in your bag pokemon 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 i gotta make you a bag brother um do i have any on hand yes i do right here pokemon pokemon all right pokemon do this pokemon one five one sweet there we go. Put that together. And we'll put that over here. Alrighty. I love Bob. <laughs> um, like 80% of the pop has those white spots all over the back. If you Google white spots on back, you'll see people on Reddit asking about their Mewtwo. Yeah, so there you go. Grade it up. Having two cards being the Gengar line means that a Gengar set would absolutely blow up. Bro, I've been fucking preaching this for years. I've been preaching a Halloween thematic set with ghost types and Gengar is like the star. Or, or, or add in a fucking uh, new ghost type evolution. They'll never do it. They'll never do it. But a, a man can dream. <laughs> a man can dream. All right. Q's open. If anybody wants to battle Pokemon, now is your time. Now is your time to step up and battle him. You got, uh, I'll give you three minutes if anybody wants to battle Pokemon. If not, we're going to open his bag and see what's coming out of it. Uh, it's extremely common. Oh, it's th yeah, great it. I'd grade it then, totally. I would totally grade it then. If um yeah, if a card if if a bunch of the ten pops if a bunch of the ten pops are fucked, you can you can make a safe bet. You can you can grade it and it, it it'll eventually pull ten if you're if you're regrading. Or maybe the first time, you never know. Gengar so would make me spend what's left of my 401k. <laughs> what's good, Danny? How you doing, man? Danny, how you feeling, man? All your Gengars got ten from uh from Wild Force. Sabrina's Japanese Gengar reprint. Yo, dude. Card's fucking... I love that card. Where is he? Back... I'll, you'll see... Right... Wait, let me see. Right... There. Sabrina's Gengar band. I believe it's right there. I think that's it. Because that's Fossil Gengar. That's... Yamabuki. Or no, that's a tag team. Mimikyu Gengar. Then Dark Gengar. And VMAX Altart Japanese deck. Yamabuki's above. Marmia. I need more good Gengar cards. One of these days, I'll fucking pick up the... the what's it called? Misaki's? Or whatever the fuck. Dude, I can't think right now. Brain fried. Misaki's. Misaki's Gengar. But then there's the web version, and then there's the, the you know, the send-in one. There's two different copies. Uh, I love the Trick or Treat Gengar packs. They look so nice. They're nice. I'm fucking stoked. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I love to hear. All right. So let me refresh Q and see if anybody wanted to battle Pokemon. Let's take a look. I don't believe I see any battlers. So Pokemon, you ready? You ready to get right into this? Let's, let's do it. Here we go. So Pokemon, you're going to do the old Gengar Lucky Bag. Let's see how this goes for you. Let's take a look. Let's find it. I actually know exactly where it is. It's right in front of me. It's the first bag right in front of me on the left here. So I, I have it right here. All right. Here we go. Wait. Fucking FPS is a little weird. We'll, we'll switch it. So, my man, you don't got a beautiful English base set Mewtwo holographic in a mint nine. This is a beautiful card, man. This is a beautiful card. Mewtwo holographic in a mint nine. I believe the going value for this card is it's well it's well over a hundred. Let me take a let me take a look at the uh, at the value. Mewtwo hollow. Mewtwo hollow. Let's see. From. Bum, 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 bum. Not evolution. Mewtwo. I'll search on Mewtwo. Mewtwo base. So Mewtwo from, let's see, 
So Mewtwo. Mewtwo from base set. Looks like the PSA 9 is about 135. So you're going to get a 135 Mewtwo holographic in a mint 9 from English base set. Beautiful, man. Very pretty. Nice $35 gain on that one. Plus, you got the free Crimson Haze round, so 140 overall. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Gengar pulling through with a beautiful Mewtwo slab. Then I want a 10. Yeah, you you want a uh, you want a Japanese 10, which is worth like $700. The English one, so if this was a 10, it would be worth about the same. <laughs> about six to seven hundred. You could honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, you could probably crack and regrade. Yeah, you could probably crack and regrade this and go for it. The only reason it got a nine instead of a ten, I think, is centering on the back. Left, it's heavy. And I think that's why they gave it a nine. Um, and when, when it comes to English base set, they're a lot more, like, strict. They're a lot more strict when it comes to centering and shit. The Pokemon, not doing bad. Nice LB on that one. Not too shabby on that boy. Not too shabby there. Gengar pulling through with a nice small little profit there. Ain't that, ain't that something? Ain't that there something? Very nice. All righty, Gengar. You weren't too bad, buddy. You weren't too bad. The Malimited is 710. It's like 6 to 7. About I've seen more close to 6. Take a look. Refresh the old Q. All right. Q is open. If you'd like to make an order, feel free. How many bags left until reserves? Let me take a look at that. Also, FPS being wonky. Stupid FPS. It should fix itself. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two more bags, and then we go to reserves. In the next two ba two bags, can one of you please hit one of the two big high tier bags? I would appreciate that. All right, you don't have to do it. If you don't do it, it actually benefits me, right? It benefits me more. However, if you do do it, it looks good for the stream, right? Either I don't care what happens either way, but. You know, I don't care. Do hit it. Let's let's make you guys look good. Okay, make look good. Fucking hit that bang bang double high tier right in a row. Then I have to put a new one in. You guys know the deal. Anyways, let's take a look. Uh, let's read chat. Uh, let's see. Sheesh! Did he not win the JPN U two ten? He did. Trade Elmeo, those will go side by side, but 9 and 10 though? <laughs> the Japanese one is uh, the 10, and then the English one you just got, the unlimited is the 9. Uh, any battlers amidst? Did no one pull either of the Zards? Nobody pulled either of the Zards, and it's, in terms of battlers, I don't know. I know J Justin was down for some... He he did a little battle against you. Uh, I don't know if he's still down. Anybody else tr in terms of battles, I know like maybe none of them are here tonight. I know some of the battlers might be on a tiny little week hiatus because maybe last week wasn't the best, but that's okay. Sometimes we need a small break and then we need to recoup and then we come back fucking guns a blazing. But as far as we know, here's what's going to inevitably happen. It always occurs. Once we hit reserves and I announce it in the discord, people come out of the woodwork because they're like, fuck, I want the big card. It always happens. It always happens. So if we hit the reserves tonight, either in two bags or in four at the most, everybody will come out, and that might result in people wanting to battle. Anyway, let's... Uh, I want to see, is anything... Has anyone made any interesting content regarding anything in the Pokemon space? I was looking at... I think I... Nick made a new video that was in... It, well, that was good. It was on the, uh, the, the, old, the old Pumper Boy. It was good. Good video. C called him out on his bullshit, so I enjoyed that watch. Let's see. I would say every person talking about Pokemon investing is a hypocrite and pumper. Only an idiot is going to follow any advice they give. And apparently there are a crap ton of those idiots. Hence why they have a lot of influence. Enough to make a failed product survive before it completely dies. For example, MetaZoo pumped by Alpha Investments. <laughs> Put it this way. Here's here's a great a great thing to, to learn when you're in any space of anything that involves money. 
Um, my streak is dead. I don't think so. I, you, you had a good streak there, man. Or you had a good bag there. You just had a good bag. So maybe. Oh, man. Justin just sent through a hundo for a lucky bag. Let's see. Let's see, Justin. Justin said last one for the night. He said Squirtle. Justin. My question is, Justin, do you want to battle the Squirtle? Do you want to battle it? Do you want to battle little Squirtle? We're going to find out. We're going to find out in a minute. Just the same here last one for night. Justin's had a good, a, a pretty, a pretty decent night so far. We haven't hit the high tier, so that's or one of two of one of the two high tiers. I'd like to hit one before we hit reserves, but if we hit reserves with two of them, so be fucking it. We gonna learn today. Here's here's my my tip, my 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 tip to any of you. Not financial advice. Here's my my two cents, and I'm going to make it very short. I'm going to try to keep this less than 30 seconds. If someone is telling you what to do in a YouTube video, and it involves money, be a little weary. Do your background research before you blindly follow. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That, could go, that goes for anybody. Goes for anybody. If they provide data and you can look at it and judge for yourself, that's a little better. But still, make your own decisions. All right. So my man Justin said Squirtle. And Justin, let me know, man, if you want to do uh, if the Squirtle, you want to do a battle or if you want to do a, what's it called? If you want to do a solo. My man, Justin, where are my energies? Justin. Justin said, let's go. All right. So we're going to do a battle. Justin for the LB battle with Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Um, now I blindly follow you, Dama, and I lost millions. Hee hee. That's so kind of you to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was hoping you'd lose more, but. Justin, LB battle with Squirtle. And then let's see. Pokemon or Pokemon said he was thinking, thinking of going for Caterpie. Maybe. Pokemon sent through a hundo and said, let's take a look. He said, and I quote, Caterpie. All right. So here's what's inevitably going to occur. If we do not hit a high tier in Caterpie or Squirtle, all right, we are going to reserves. And I'm going to announce it in the Discord. And I guarantee you a lot of people are going to come out of nowhere and be like, yo, I'm in. Because it happens every time. And if it doesn't happen, then... The, the, tomorrow we will be done this. I can guarantee that. Um, either tomorrow or tonight. We will be done it. We'll see. So we're going to get this going. Pokemon. And in case you're like, of course we didn't hit both of the big bags and we're into reserves. Of course. Of course that would happen. It's not legitimate. Well, just look back at the last two rounds of bags. And uh, I lost a lot of money on those rounds. But... <laughs> It happens. It is what it is. You have rounds like this where either we're going to hit it or maybe we hit both right here or maybe we don't. Let's find out. Caterpie versus Squirtle. Let's take a look. All right. I found Squirtle. So there's a clear winner here. There's a... Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. We're going to take a look here. Let's take a look. So we have Squirtle, which has five Crimson Haze, which is 25 credit, and then Ghastly, which Ghastly right now is a 22 listed median. So this is 47. I know that. I don't even got to look that up. But then we have Spring Battle Road Nearman 8 Pikachu, the Japanese promo. I have to look up how much he is. If he's over 47, uh, Pokemon wins. If he's not, Justin wins. But no matter what, we're going to reserves because we have not hit the char. We've not hit either of them. So we're going to reserves no matter what. Let's take a look and see what Spring Battle Road Pikachu in an 8 goes for. Spring Battle Road Pikachu PSA 8. Um, Spring Battle Road Pikachu in a PSA 8. Let's take a look here. 
It last sold in, in a PSA 8. So there's some... I'm going to go to eBay, because these are some older price... Or older sales. Take a look at eBay. Spring Battle Road Pikachu PSA 8. Spring Battle Road Pikachu in a PSA 8. Is there any listings even? It's my question. Sold. Let's see. Let's go to sold listings. Sold listings for the card. Let's see. PSA 10 sold for over 400. Go figure. Um, should I just go to price charting? It gives me some data. Let's go to price charting. Price, price charting. Spring Battle Road. Come on. Pikachu Spring Battle Road. Help me out. And it, it's going to give me every other fucking Pikachu bot. Uh, 2007 Pikachu. Help me out here. Come, dude, this is annoying as fuck to find a price on. Spring Battle Road Pikachu PSA 8. Are we going to get anything from them? Anything? So it seems like if I'm looking on eBay, all right. If I'm looking on eBay, just like general buy it nows for this card. There is a near mint nine for 150, near mint nine 150. There's a near mint eight for 125. Now I'm gonna take this and re-enter this in the eBay. See if there's anything going on. Yeah. If I'm gonna, if I'm being the raw copy is going for like 60, 50 to 60 for the raw copy. So the raw copy alone is going more than Justin's bag. Raw copy alone is like 50, 60. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming this eight is probably def is definitely more. Let's just double. I'm going to go to sold listings just to validate. See if I can get an exact price. PSA 10 last sold for 305. Um... Uh, there was literally a raw copy sold. Let me show you. I'll show you real quick, just to give you, like, so you know. There was a raw copy of the uh, Pikachu sold for $40. Um, it LP plus. So this one's fucked up. And it sold on April 8th for 40 bucks. Yeah, this Pikachu in an 8 is definitely going to be, definitely going to be pushing over $46. I mean, the, the cheapest buy it now is 125 in an 8. So, yeah, I, we can make a strong assumption there's an eight for 96. Yeah, so we can make a strong assumption this guy is beating 40 something bucks. All right, so Spring Battle Road Pikachu is definitely going to take the battle. All righty. So, five CH and a Ghastly going to go to you, Pokemon, on top of the Spring Battle Road. P Ooh, wrong camera. So, five CH, Ghastly, and Spring Battle Road Pikachu. Beautiful Pikachu card, by the way. It got an eight, but I'd, I'd fucking re. Eh, he's a little top heavy. He's, he's, he, he looks like an 8. He, if he got a 9, he'd be a bad 9. If he got an 8, he's, yeah, he looks like an 8. So this is going to be 22 plus around 96. So 118 plus 528 or 5CH. That's going to be 25. That's going to be 143. Total value 1. You won 43 bucks over what you paid. Let's see if the Crimson Haze Hotbox will be good to you, Pokemon. That is going to be what? We had 5 there? So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm on the fucking money today. Oh, it's so cute. Applin. Very cute. We got Applin. <laughs> Willy fucking Wonka, bro. <laughs> we got Sinistra Full Art. <laughs> I love this card. I love this guy. He's so goofy. Goofy, goofy dude. I'm going to put him in the Beckett. <laughs> the Beckett uh, card saver. The one I was going to use for one of the Poltergeists, but inevitably didn't. So good. Love that card. And then we also have the, uh, the little Applin. I love this card. Very cute. So we have Applin, Ghastly, IR, uh, Sinistra, EX, Full Art, and the Battle Day or Spring Battle Road in an eight. Very beautiful side, by the way. Pokemon, that's a nice win, dude. That's a nice, that's a solid win.
Let's get all your stuff in your bag, if I can open your bag. Alrighty, let's get all this in here. So, Pokemon, you are going to take that battle. You're taking that battle, brother. Alright, sweet. Everything's in there. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Alright, so Caterpie is the victor there. Caterpie is the lone survivor. Squirtle was a, was a low tier. And Caterpie was a mid tier. Alrighty, so that means we're down to the last ten, which... Y'all know what it means. We are into the final 10. There are two big SIR Zards in here. All right. Let's get the reserves a flowing. Let's take a look here. Take a quick look. I have to notify everybody in the Discord. We are down to the reserves. And uh, we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. So, let's go and let everyone know we're in the reserves. So make a cool high tier, me thinks. Akis, let's see. Reverse Gemint 10, reverse Neo 2 promo. Very cool card. There's actually variants you can get nice swirls on the outside. It's very cool. Um, very nice card. Very nice card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let everybody know in the Discord. Uh, at everyone, we are in the reserves. 10 lucky bags available. Two SIR PSA 10 Zards lurking in those final 10. You have rough, you have exactly, not roughly, exactly a 20, 20, tw can I write? 20% per chance to grab one per bag bought. Best of luck. Get them before they sell out. And Bangaruski. We'll send it out. All right. Sweet. Best of luck, y'all. Best of luck. I have stuff in shipping. Notifications and shipping. Okay, just let me know. I'm not sure. I never got email for tracking. It should be the four lucky bag and the two JP151. You get the size for PSA. Can you ship me out? I know you had an email on the spot. Oh yeah, so, Danny. If you're if you're still here, Danny. Danny, I have all your slabs, so I can I can ship it out. Just request shipping in the shipping tab if you haven't, Danny. If you're here, if not, I'll let you know in the Discord because then if you're not here, then you won't know what I'm saying. This uh, and then Ian, I'll take a look, Ian, for you. I'll send you to your email associated with PayPal. I'll send you the tracking number that was sent to that email. Um, if you're here, Ian. If not, I'll situate you know this stuff post. Anyways, um, let's get things moving. Queue is open. Get your reserves in because this shit's about to go fucking down. All right. Let's do my man Rob. What's good, Rob? How you doing, brother? For the next 10 minutes, you can reserve one bag for the reserves. After those 10 minutes, I will allow multiple reservations to be made. All righty. Rob said lucky bag. Rob, let's take a look for you. Also, I apologize for FPS being a little wonky tonight. All right, Rob, we have Bellsprout, Slowbro, Dugong, Chansey, Porygon, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, Ammonite, and Arcanine. Take your pick, Rob. Best of luck, my man. Rob, while we are letting you decide, I am going to get your thing ready to put on your respective bag. All right, Rob, let me know which one you would uh, like. Alrighty. Best of luck. Bum, bum, bum. Switch it back to here. My hair is all over. I need to get a cut, dude. I got a, I got a haircut appointment on the 17th. On the 17th, brother. On the 17th. Get this shit fixed the fuck up. Fuck weird. Uh, Rob said, let me go Porygon. All right, sweet. Let's get you for Porygon, Rob. Bellsprout, Slowbro, Dugong, Chansey, Porygon. All right, Rob. Let's get you Porygon, man. All right, Rob. Here we go. Porygon, 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 Porygon. Where is Franco when you need him? I haven't seen Franco in a hot minute, dude. I'm low-key. Like, I fucking... I'm... <laughs> dude, Franco, where are you? <laughs> Anyways, 
Let's see. All right, Rob with Porygon. All righty. And let's take a look at Q, see if there's any other uh, reserves coming in. We do have another reserve coming in. Pokemon sent through $100 for a reserve. Let's take a look here. Pokemon said, uh, reservation, please. And Pokemon said, in chat, Ammonite. <laughs> All right, we'll get you, Ammonite, brother. Ammonite. Burr, 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 burr. Ammonite. All right, I love Ammonite. Ammonite's the boy. All righty. But will he come out on top for you in this reserve? That is that is the question. Will Ammonite be the one and the only? Let's take a look and find out when we finish up the reserves. <laughs> All righty. Ammonite. So we got Rob on Porygon. We got Pokemon 151 on Ammonite. Uh, and that means we have eight left. LB Reserve. Alrighty. Porygon and Ammonite are the first two selected. So that means in the next eight, we have Arcanine. Oh, whoopsies. Bellsprout, Slowbro, Dugong, Chansey, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, and Arcanine. The final eight. One of those eight could be contained in one of them Zard SIRs in the 10. So there's two of them in there. Best of luck if you decide to get in on it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Queue is open if you'd like to get on reserves. You know what to do. Until then, we chillin', baby. We chillin'. Alrighty. Cool. So, how's everybody doing? I will wait until... Let's do... We'll, I'll wait until 12.32. So that's seven minutes from now. Until I will allow everybody else... Uh, I'll, I'll allow everybody else to get multiple bags if you want to um, for this reserve. It, it'll double your chances or triple your chances depending on how many you get. So best of luck if you're doing that. All right. Um, I'm gonna. I just like battling. Miss my battle buddies. They'll probably be be. Here. They'll probably be here again. And if and if anything, here's here's the inevitable. And be very straightforward. If I just start putting out content again and pushing the streams more. There will be more new battle buddies. Like there will be new new people coming in, and once you introduce the concept of battling to them, they'll be like, "Yo, let's fucking do it." Like the thing is, there's always people that are consistently here all the time, and then there's always people that are getting re or introduced into the stream. And a lot of those people, when when you introduce them to like the battles or the lucky bags or whatever, a lot of them really like it, and they like the odds of it a lot. So uh, they end up doing it, and you have new people to you know go at it with and have a good time with. So, with that being said, yo, you got hair back? <laughs> What's good, acidic? How you doing, man? I've had hair for a minute. Where have you been, acidic? Have you been gone for like a year? I've had hair for the longest time, brother. I've had hair for so long. You're a fake fan. Fake fan. You, you would know I haven't shaved my head in a long time. Anyways, uh, let's take a look. I want to I see... If anybody's... <laughs> he's a joke. I, apparently, the Pokey Collects guy that was talking shit on pumpers, even though he's a pumper, got he scalped a lot of Van Gogh Pikachus and then got burned on him. That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Someone said, thanks for calling out more of these cringe lord losers. Some people didn't get beat up enough in high school. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's funny. Um, anyways... <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Alrighty. So we have eight bags remaining for the lucky bag reserves. You guys have five more minutes. If you want to get one more bag, feel free. If you want to get one bag, feel free. You have five minutes. So that's, you know. What do I got in my win still? In your wins? I can look for you, Justin. So, Justin, in your wins, Justin. But Justin, it looks like you're rocking with. Uh, let's take a look here. We got one for you here, Justin. We have the Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection. Not. Oh wait, let me show you. I'll, I'll take it all out for you, Justin. This is okay. So Justin, here's what we got for you, brother. Let's take it all out. We're gonna take it out to show you, my man. So Justin, here is the accumulative amount of your wins. For tonight. Well, of your bags and the win. Let's take a look. 
So my man Justin, here's what you have. Um, out of your stuff you got tonight, Justin, you got freebie, Dudski, Palmy, Basic Energy, Basic Energy, Tangela, Jinx, Giovanni's Charisma, uh, Umbi, 5, Marmia, Venusaur, 9, and Vaporeon, Prem, 9. All right. So those are the accumulation of what you got, Justin. So, yeah, not the best night in the world, but also not the worst. Could have been a lot worse. It's all right. It was okay. Like I said, I'd crack the uh, I'd crack the v the Vmax, the, the premium collection, uh, Jolt or Vaporeon. I'd crack it that in the Vena and regrade, personally. But it's up to you. You can do whatever you want with your cards, right? That's what I that's what I would do to get like the most out of them. And I just like. I don't know. I'm a little stickler for tens as of recently. I hate it. I used to not be like that, but something changed in me. <laughs> I don't know what. About to buy a PC tomorrow morning, cause why not? Acidic, why don't you why don't you buy a lucky bag and get in on the battle, man? Or do you not like Pokemon anymore? If you don't like Pokemon, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um Honestly, you would have good. Sh I would put your bag. I would buy your bags if, I was, if it was full cards. I didn't like. Uh, no battle, Poke. You are still too hot from before. I feel like they do that fart at the dinner table. I can eat, but everyone else had to leave. <laughs> I think here's the thing. Here, here's the inevitability. If you can win a battle and lose a battle and have the same mental, regardless, um, that's very admirable. If you can win a battle and lose a battle and your mental goes to the shitter the second you lose a battle, it says a lot. And it, it says a lot that maybe, you know, you maybe got to work on that. Um, you, I always say it. If you can take your losses like you take your wins, you're fucking killing it. You know what I mean? With my kids farting all the time, we have learned to eat and suffer. <laughs> What's the what's the PSA grading? PSA grading this month is thirty five per card because they have an April special, uh, post shipping fees, insurance, and the cost of grading. I don't make I don't think I really make anything. I, I think all I get is like my cards, basically graded for, big by grading your guys' cards. Like I don't make I don't actually make money on it. I make my I don't have to pay my grading fee. That's basically it. And then I think I still do have to pay it pay it though, at the thirty five er, rate. Uh, does someone want to do a trade lucky bag for lucky or trade a lucky bag for my Mewtwo Master Ball? Yo, that's not a bad trade. Pokemon might be interested in that, actually. He might be interested in that, Justin. Like, if, if Pokemon buys you a lucky bag this round, you'll trade him the Mewtwo Master Ball? He might be very interested in that. I know he loves the Master Balls in 151. So he might be very interested in that. Then that would get us to, I believe, seven bags remaining for this round. Yeah, seven bags remaining for this round if we did that. Which would mean we're in the to the bottom of the bags. We're we're moving. Uh, one more minute, and then people can buy multiple bags if they want to as well. Let's take a look here. Anything mess being messed with anymore? I'm curious. I have Mewtwo Master Ball PS. If it was Gengar, I'd I'd do it. Fucking hell of a card, dude. It's a hell of a card. It is recently. That's crazy, man. Um, so Justin, yeah. So if anybody in chat wants to give buy buy Justin a lucky bag. For his Mewtwo Master Ball PSA 10. He's willing to do that. I'm pretty sure the Mewtwo Master Ball. Tommy, there's new Morty info just posted in the Discord. Ooh, I'm interested. Um, Let's see. After two more sales, Morty will be a $150 card minimum. In a played condition too on top of that. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Imagine being like... Yeah, this ain't fucking Gengar. And then the next day, you're like, yo, but I am Gengar because I'm fucking, yo, 150 now, baby. Is there like 150? I'd do it. I'm personally waiting for the spins for the nightly and weekly because they ain't the waiting for the leech shit. <laughs> she, 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 no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you know, we don't do leech shit anymore. 
goofed myself there. It's worth like 150. There you go. So if anybody just wants a free $50, just buy Justin a lucky bag and he'll give you his Mewtwo Master Ball. I mean, you know, I mean, I'll fuck it. <laughs> If nobody, I'll give you guys the opportunity to do it, but if nobody does it, Justin, I will gladly, if I do a little research real quick, I will gladly, let me just check, Mewtwo Master Ball, PSA 10. Mewtwo Master Ball, PSA 10. Price charting. Uh, PSA 10 listings range from about 110 to 130. Highs of 150, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's you know highs of 150, lows of 110. So Justin is basically giving you free money if you want to do the trade with him or buy him a bag. You you make money on it. You know what I mean? So you can do that. It's up to you. I would have done it if it was still if it was consistently 150. I, I would have done it. But if it's if it's chilling around 110, hmm, it's like it's still it's still decent. It's still good. Uh, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. The, th the thing is, I, I can't do it. You know what I mean? Here's why I can't do it. Because let's throw the hypothetical out that the two bags currently reserved, Ammonite and Porygon, say those are the Charizard. And I, and I know that. Not, not saying they are, just saying hypothetically, what if they were and I knew it? And then I tell Justin, oh, I'll do it. Give me your slab. I'll give you a bag. Knowing damn well the, the last eight don't contain the high big high tier. That's conflict of interest, and that's scummy. I'm not going to do that. Not saying that's what's happening right now. I'm not saying Ammonite and Porygon are the big bags. I'm not saying anything. However, if they were, and I did that, that would look bad. And I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, content creation. I don't do that. Here's, here's, my, here's my hypothetical content creature. Uh... Here's he, hear me out. Morty's conviction is a hundred fifty dollar card tomorrow morning, <laughs> or or in the next like fucking hour or so. I would or or in the next couple hours. I don't know. It would not surprise me if those two copies get bought, resulting in it going to a hundred fifty minimum. Because at that point, if it's a hundred fifty minimum, then people are gonna try and hit it a little under that. And if here's you know what that fucking uh, company that that TCG player store does anytime their card is the only one on on market in TCG player they hike the price up another fifty to sixty bucks they always fucking do it they always fucking do it always if you if you watch them with the Gasly bro when the Gasly was thirty bucks they had theirs at sixty the second the Gasly was at fifty they threw theirs at ninety it was fucking wild like genuinely ridiculous to watch. And somebody, somebody fucking bought from them. It infuriates me. There was a $125 copy of the Gasly bought from that fucking shop. I hope it was fucking them doing it. I do not, I hope to God nobody fucking actually did that. Mewtwo is the second worst Gen 1 Pokemon, so I have no interest. The English version? Yeah, English Morty's Conviction be popping the fuck off right now. Because it just got, it got bought out. I can't haven't checked if eBay reflects. eBay's reflecting. I, I already checked it. Uh, there's a sale today of the card for seventy five dollars. So the the Morty's Conviction SIR. There was a copy sold today for seventy five bucks. All the buy it nows are at seventy five bucks. They'll be bought out, and then the card will reflect being a very expensive card. Like with the Gasly, it's there's so many. It you can it's it's hard to justify it, and it's hard to make sense of it. With the Morty's SIR. If that thing gets bought out and these prices are high, it's not like you can throw another hundred on the market and just be like, no, <laughs> no, it's a $50 card. You, there's not a fucking enough of them. And if there are, you're not, it's not going to happen until it's too late. It's so like, if I don't think the person that did the fucking ghastly did this because this is actually like. This looks like a real pump. Like, this is what a real pump looks like. Ghastly is like somebody trying to pump. This looks like a genuine pump. It got bought out. All the stores are raising their prices, and it's still being bought. And then eBay's reflecting. 
Maybe tomorrow on Card Market and other things when people catch wind of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's... You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. I haven't checked... If also, what's good, Albert? How you doing, brother? I pretty much only use eBay to price cards. Works well. You know, eBay's solid. eBay's really good because you can go off condition. What about two lucky bags for my PSA 10 Slowpoke and Psyduck? So I'm going to tell you the same thing I just said, Just Me, personally, I can't do that. However, somebody in chat might be able, might want to. So Justin has a CSM 2B Slowpoke and Psyduck Tag Team Alternative Art in a PSA 10. The card is around $250. Um, so if you bought him two lucky bags, it, that'd be 200 and you'd make 50 off of it. Also, if you've already reserved the bag, so like Rob and Pokemon, you guys have reserved bags this round or this, this round you have reserved. Oh, wait, I should do this. Here's what I should. I should probably do this, right? Here's what, here's what I should do. We put all these guys over here. I can just turn them around like this. So you guys know here. I'm going to put them all in a pile together so you guys know. I don't think this shows any of them. It doesn't. And I want to put all the lucky bags right here. So you guys know that I'm not fucking with anything. And if we don't do the reserve, if reserves don't end tonight, this is not going to change at all. It's going to look exactly how it looks. Not fucked with. So you know that like if stream ends and the reserves aren't done, like I could have went. Ooh, ooh. It's going to look exactly how it does. Somebody take a screenshot of it right now. Just to be certain. Look, I'm going to even move like. Hey, look. And how, how can we make it look... How would I make it so I don't... Like, you guys know. Like, somebody just screen... Here, look. Can I... Hold up. Get out of the way. Screen cap it right now how it looks. It should not fucking change from this to tomorrow. It shouldn't. Shouldn't be... Nothing should be messed with. All right? Good. Just in case we don't get the reserves. Okay. If we do get the reserves, then that we won't need that at all. But I just want it. I just want it there for like so you guys feel, you know, good about it. Um, so if anybody wants to get another reserve, do what you gotta do. Oop! Show it. Oh, show the card. Let me take a look. Uh, Justin, 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 Justin. Let's take a look for you, brother. Wait, are Justin over here? No. Ah, Justin. One sec. Let me take a look. Um, let me see. I look for the slab boys. This is Justin. Justin! Okay. All right. Justin! Justin, Justin, Justin. The Justin. Let's take a look. All right, so Justin, here are the slabs you had in your other bag. The Charizard EX SIR. The CS... Oh, it's CSM2A, not CSM2B. CSM2A, Gemint 10, Slowpoke, Psyduck. Uh, quality is fucking great. Condition's so... It's so good. The quality of those cards is great. And then the Mewtwo Master Ball. So these lads. Are the who two high tiers still available in the reserves? Yes, Albert. Yeah, we're in the reserves. Both two high tiers are still available. We've only had two bags currently reserved. Um, uh, two bags currently reserved: Ammonite and Porygon. So yeah, we're in the bottom. We're in the we're we're go, we're in the bottom ten, and both of them are still there. One five one SIR PSA ten bias toys. I buy lucky for that. So the screenshot to Marcus as well. What did Kazantha say? Screenshot taken. Thank you, Kazantha. I appreciate it. Yeah, send it. Make sure this should not be fucked with. Okay. Let me just make sure real quick. Just real quick. See, even if I'm like, even if I like do this, like, it still should look like that, right? It shouldn't. It should look like that. And that's what we need to know. Let's see. Um, you got a PS10 Blast Toys, Justin? I don't think I do. Yes, no one pulled. No, none pulled. You have a chance. And I sent the screenshot to Max as well. Was there not an SIR Blast Toys 10 pulled yet? I thought we pulled. Somebody pulled one. Right? Did somebody pull one? 
I have no idea. How many slabs are left in this round? There's a lot of fucking slabs there. A lot of slabs there. Interesting. A lot of slabs in the last 10. That'll be good. Alrighty. Let me let people know. Can't wait for this to arrive. AU207. It's the Pokemon Plaza Challenge. Oh, you got one of those? The victory medals? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Damn. Dragon Clash got a victory medal. Those are nice. Nice cards. Um, let's let everyone know. At everyone, eight reserve bags left. Can buy any amount. Best of luck. Let's clear the round tonight to roll all incentives. Sweet, sweet. Last at everyone for the night. Hopefully nobody wants to crucify me for that. <laughs> anyway. Let's take a look. Take a little trip. Take a little trip. Take a little trip with me. Good fucking intro. And there he fucking goes. <laughs> Hey, can I do... I don't have those anymore. I don't pay for fucking Nitro. Where I get the cool emojis or whatever the fuck. That'd be funny. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, dude. All of the more <laughs> All of the Morty's Conviction SIRs on market right now are all over 70 fucking dollars. All of the raw copies are over 75... $75. Actually. All said and done. All the ones in bid are... Ending in like two days to a day. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> this is going to be a shit show. Uh, I can't wait to see the reaction of... I can't wait to see the reaction of people to this. We're seeing it firsthand. Like, we're watching it happen. So it's really funny to watch it firsthand. But people are going to start noticing this over the next 24 hours. It's going to be really funny. So fucking funny, dude. Uh, Let's see. Uh, let's read chat. Um, somebody did get one. Someone did. I was jealous. I don't think the Venusaur was pulled. I don't think the Venusaur was pulled yet either. I don't think so. So there is a Venusaur 10 in the, in the last 10 too. I don't remember who got it. Pretty, probably Solar. Feels like he slash she got it. Yeah, it might have been Solar. Solar did, did have a good round. Thank you for trying to help me out. Anytime, Justin. Anytime, brother. Any Anytime. If you guys need help with anything uh, stream related... Non-stream related. Always ask. You know what I mean? Worst I can say is no. <laughs> and then and then it, it's like, it's not like a, a mean no. It's like, uh, nah, not right now. But, you know, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to help. With that, 100%, dude. I think Solar got the 8 and someone pulled a 10 soon afterward. I remember that. Let me take a look. I can actually tell you guys who got it. Was it a Nusen? No, it wasn't a Nusen. Um, Solar got the 9. Oh, you know, you know who it was? It was, it was B-Legs. B-Legs got the 10. I can always message B-Legs. Or not message him. Fucking email him. I can be like, yo, B-Legs. <laughs> Did you get the 10? Pokemon wants to trade. <laughs> but like, that'd be, that'd be weird just to email him out of nowhere. I think the only... Yeah, the only time we ever email people is if it's like, hey, you have a bag here. <laughs> Fucking come get it. <laughs> Please get your bag. Or if someone's like... Or like if we've ever had like a fault, a fraudulent charge back, and then I'm like, hey, you probably don't want to do that, and then you have to fucking deal with all that. Uh, I think Solar got the eight. Someone pulled it. Yeah, B Legs got the ten. Solar got the nine. I don't think anybody got a uh, the Venusaur SIR ten though yet. Nobody's gotten it. Nobody's gotten the Venusaur SIR ten. Nobody's gotten the Air the Japanese Erica nine. Nobody's gotten the. Like, I could look and tell you what we haven't gotten, but I would, I'm not going to touch it, but I'm going to look at it. And I can tell you what we haven't gotten yet. Um, we haven't gotten, uh, rocket, Japanese rocket Charmander 10. We haven't gotten that. Okay. You guys are watching me right now. I, I don't, I feel confident doing this. So, you know, okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of PSA 10 slabs in there we haven't gotten yet. There's a lot of them in there. Again, I don't, I'm not saying any fucking thing about any bag, any name, any Pokemon. I'm not saying shit. But there are a lot of PSA 10 slabs we have not gotten yet. 
So keep that in mind. So even like, hypothetically, even if you didn't hit the Zard, you can still aim for the moon and land amongst the stars. You know what I mean? You can, you can hypothetically still do very fucking well, even if you didn't hit one of the Zard bags. If that makes you feel a little more reassured about doing the reserves. The inevitability is that this will either roll tomorrow or it will roll tonight. Uh, are there any low tiers like there were used of tissue in a uh, like <laughs> used tissue in a gotcha ball? No. <laughs> if there is a low tier, I think there might be one low tier left. I don't know though. We might have pulled them both. If there is a uh, a, a low tier left, um, it would be like crimson haze and a ghastly which would be like $50 of value or so. So it's like the, the lowest I think you can do right now on the on any of the bags would be like around 50, which is still like, are you okay with losing 50 to pot potentially make four to 500? That's the kind of conversation you have to have with yourself. And even if you didn't hit the 50 one, you could still hit one that is profitable, you know? So it's it's like up to it's like what do you feel comfortable with? It comes down to. I am just the messenger. I will not say anything beyond that. New screenshot taken. Dot dot dot. Just in case. Thank you. How long you been live for? Two hours twenty minutes. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. If anybody gets any more lucky bags in the reserves right now, I will gift whoever gets a lucky bag in the reserves. I'll gift you uh, four Crimson Haze hotbox if you get any more lucky bags in the current reserves. Four free Crimson Haze. It's $20 credit towards you. I'm going to go get some peaches and make some tea. While I'm gone, four free Crimson Haze, $20 credit basically, if you get another lucky bag for the reserves. I'd like to see this end tonight. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um... If, if not, we'll go tomorrow, but I'd like to see it end tonight. So four free Crimson Ace hot box. I am going to quickly go get some peaches, and uh, we'll go from there. I don't have anybody to sit in. Actually, I do. I have someone to sit in my absence. This fucking asshole. All right, here you go. This fucking... Uh, he speaks Korean, so if you have any questions, he might be able to answer. There you go. He speaks Korean, so.
Cheers, gamers. I have my tea. No steam. Boring. Some water. Thanks, bud. Oh. Drop something. Knock something over. Whoops. Alrighty. What's good? Right, let's read chat. Oh, she's kind of dead this round. I think it's... I, I think... I. Never know when it could revive. I would buy in, but can't probably next week at, two, at most in two weeks. Uh, I'm already being financially responsible at 1LB, otherwise I get more. Maybe less battlers because ceiling is lower than previous rounds. Uh, not, Wednesdays are typically a little slower than Thursdays. And I know a lot of people were going very deep last week. So, it's more... I think it's more so... Um, more so a lot of people were going in. And this week... It, usually how, how it'll typically go is... One week will be very whoosh, and then the next week will be a little bit down. Not like down, but like a little less. And then the, the following week will be the same. So it's like it's like bi-weekly. People will go crazy. And then there's always like a, a week that's a little bit more tame. Previous two rounds are fire. He absolutely was losing some dough. Yeah, no, totally. I was losing my ass. Uh, I heard laughing. Yep. Me and my... Well, it might have been mine. My, my just came down here to get some uh, cat food for the cats. You were insane last round. Pulled fire over and over. Yeah, he was fucking killing it. For sure, you're hallucinating, Pokemon. I was. Lol, well, should quit while I'm ahead. Nah. Hey, the thing... The thing... Here's the, here's the thing. When it comes to the, the lucky bags, the second you think you're done, that's when you hit. The second you think it's all over, that's usually when you fucking hit. Wouldn't surprise me if those rounds were a mass hallucination, Marcus. So, like I said, uh, if anybody wants to continue to get a... Here's what we have. Let me show you. We have eight more bags for the reserves. We have Bellsprout, Slowbro, Dugong, Chansey, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, and Arcanine for the last eight. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking like, oh my god, these bags weren't as good as the last ones. Well, not really. You know there's two Zard SIR 10s in the last... 10 but that's not all that's in the bag so the bag values could be six to seven hundred dollar bags which i know one of them is uh the other one might be as well so it's not like the bags are less if anything your odds are better and the, there's more high tier bags in the reserves so it's actually much better than the previous rounds it's just like i said a slower wednesday and that's okay it's not really slow i mean the orders have been good it's just it's a wednesday <laughs> Um, I'm a gambler, man. What's my PSA Zard worth, Dama? Your, oh, your, your SIR Zard? Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. Um, let's see. Justin, SIR Zard. PSA, or Charizard. SIR Charizard. How day and fates. Let's take a look. SIR Charizard, how day and fates in a PSA 10 is going for, let's look at sold listings, shall we? Uh, and a PSA 10, it just sold for three three hundred forty five plus shit. So three hundred forty five yesterday. Before that, four hundred, and then there was one today that sold for about three hundred. So it's it's scattering between three to four hundred. I do a median and say it's about three hundred fifty. So your SIR uh, Paldean Fates Terrazard, I'd say like three to four hundred. All said and done. All said and done, that's what I'd put it at. Around three to four. So my man Justin might be willing to make a trade with somebody for this round, which I'm cool with. <laughs> I'm cool with. Um, don't worry if we don't have to roll over. Don't worry if we have to roll over to another day. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> we might, but maybe not. We'll see, you know. We're only two hours, 34 minutes in the stream. You'd be surprised how quick things can change in like 25 minutes. Things can move very fast. It, it really depends. Really depends. I need this tea bag to be done so I can drink this tea. Um, why, why are you trying to trade off the better looking one? Shiny Treasure Zard, the 151 Charizard. Mac, is that subjective? I think the 151 Zard is better. I like the... Actually, both are good. Both are good. Both are good. I like the 151 Zard because it reminds... It's like chill. It, he looks... He looks like... He's like dad bod Zard. I like that. 
I like dad bod Zard. Badass Zard. I've seen him too too many times. Dad bod Zard. Hmm. Uh, that's a guy. That's a cool dude. <laughs> now that's a fucking dude. Um. I'm never subjective, Dama. <laughs> Macus is always completely objective. He never speaks anything but the truth. This is accurate. This is very true. Thick Zard. <laughs> exactly. Thick Charizard. My favorite card. Alrighty. Um, buy me two lucky bags and two on... What? Two lucky bags, two spots on the Mew, and you get it. Jesus Christ, man. That's a fucking deal. If somebody buys Justin two lucky bags and two spots on the Mew, you can get his Paldean Fates SIR Zard in a 10. <laughs> you basically just make a hundred bucks off him. And he's will he's willing to do it. Jesus. I mean, it it get the fucking reserves rolling. I'm I'm for it. I don't care. Somebody wants to do that with him. Go ahead. So four lucky bag. No, he wants two lucky bags and two Mew spots. So it'd be a total of two twenty, I believe. If that's what he's saying, it'd be a total of two twenty. Which means if you pay two twenty, you get a three hundred ten minimum dollar fucking PSA ten zard. Uh, almost pulled the trigger on 80 Evo Skies packs for 998 on eBay, but with the amount of money, it's easy for me to hesitate. Sleeve packs, that is. Uh, 80 sleeves. Dude, well, <laughs> I heard some stuff, and I don't know if this is true. And I'm not one to question how, what other streamers price their, sh their shit at, because everybody has their own you know thing. Um, I heard, was Vault charging $20 per Evo Skies pack recently? Were they were they from sleeve blisters or were, were they from a box? That's the question. Because if it's from a box, all right, I could see where you could do a break like that. If it's sleeve blisters, even th even then, it's like, is it a little much? I don't know. What is sleeve blisters going for? Like, I'm just asking questions. I don't know the specifics. I'm just asking. I'm just shooting the shit. I like Vault. Vault's a really good guy. He's a very nice guy. Very good guy. Um, I heard people didn't like that though. Sleeve packs like 15 now, and even. Oh, is he charging 30? Was he charging 30, not 20? He's charging 30? Was it from a booster box or was it from like, uh, was it from sleeve blisters? Let me see. I like Vault. I hope he wasn't like overcharging. All right, wait, what was it? Let me see. So you get three Evo Skies and three EV Heroes at 115. So the math on that is if it's... That wouldn't be... Wait, so three Evo and three EV Heroes. EV Heroes is minimum like a $500 box. So that's... A 10% 10, 10 of the box price, that's $50 for three EV heroes. That'd be. Then that would be 75 for three Evo Skies, which would be like 25 a pack. So it's like 25 per Evo. It's a bundle for EV heroes, Evo Skies. If the Evo Skies is from a booster box, I don't know. It, it's, I don't know. I don't know enough to. I'll do it, Justin. 220 to Dama, right? Anyone hit the Zard yet? Nobody's hit the Zard. We're, Anusin, we're in reserves right now, and you can buy as many bags as, you, as you'd like. So, if, if I'm making sense of this, Eve, Eevee Heroes boxes are 500, so to get three packs, that'd be 10% of the packs in the box. So, 10% of 500, or like even 600, if seen sales at, is anywhere between... 50 to 60 dollars for three EV heroes packs that's what you would be paying so your evolving skies packs would then have to cost 25 per or tw like 22 
know what I mean? So I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 your take. Here's the thing, people are gonna pay it. People will pay it because here's why. If you buy from Vault, you're buying in, in into a, a stream with a lot of viewers and a lot of people watching. When you get your stuff bought out, you're probably going to have, if you do good, you're probably going to get it made into like a short. And some people like that. Some people will pay a premium just for fucking that. Some people will pay a premium just to have Vault open their packs. Um, like on top of that, Vault, to my knowledge... Again, I don't watch every stream of his, but to my knowledge, Vault's reputable. He's pretty damn consistent with what he does, and he, he hasn't had, like, if he's ever had an instance where something, maybe, like, a resealed box, he's, you know, reimbursed everybody. So, like, for it to be a tiny bit over market, I don't know. He he he, he can do that right now. If it, if it was me doing that, people would fucking flip out. If it's him doing it, I mean, the guy's collabing with DPM. The guy's friends with Ryan and Rev. The guy's channel's growing like crazy. It's like, he can do that. That's like when Rev charges a little more, and when I little more, I mean a good amount more for certain boxes. But you got to consider, you can't fucking get this shit. It's half the shit he's breaking, you can't even get. And if you get, if you want to get a, a loose pack or a fucking box, you're, you're just not going to do it. So it's like... <laughs> You got it. You got to consider the fact that whatever fucking market is for some things, it, when you're going to a break stream, uh, sometimes it's irrelevant. Sometimes it's completely irrelevant. And if you like that, cool, go crazy. But if you don't like that, then you're, here's what you're gonna have to do: your own fucking groundwork to get whatever they're selling uh, and get it reputable or from a reputable source, which you might inevitably just pay the same fucking cost in some cases. But usually at a break stream, you're paying more. I don't know. I, I like Vault. Vault's a good guy. Uh, so I'm not. I, I don't. I don't think it's crazy, right? It's it's nothing new. It's nothing crazy new, right? People got to make their margins. So it, I get it. I don't see any. It doesn't sound too fucking crazy. One forty four packs of fusion is like six to seven hundred now too. I can tell you if it's. Let me see. Let's take a look. 144 pack fusion strike. If it is, I'm gonna be so sad. If it's if it's fucking. Probably is, right? Probably is. I'm gonna be sad. i I went by it. Let me look. Unless they took him down. Uh, 144 pack fusion strike $650 bro these were $500 for like a fucking year and a half oh, I hate stupid hype <laughs> it's so dumb it is what it is though I don't know fusion strike still a lot of fun to open let's take a look at Q can you show the slab again just so I'm not confused yeah it's it's this one Woo. come on up Whoa. This guy right here. Gemint 10 SIR uh, Zard from Paldean Fates. That's the one he's willing to let go for two LBs and two Mew spots. Maybe 580 minimum for 144 packs. I mean, it really it, it depends what you're willing to pay. With Hills, you're going to pay a tax on top of the 499, which will be like four, 560 or some shit. So if you're paying 650, you're going to pay like 700. Let's see. It is what you think it is. Also, Vault is friends with CTR, and that's cool. Yes, yeah, like I said, Vault Vault's been, to my knowledge, good. I, I don't. I haven't seen Vault do anything like scummy. I saw a comment. There was this one. There's this one fucking dude who has like he's got like 11k subs, and he gets like fucking 400 views, maybe a video. And he was talking shit on Vault in a comment, but it, it just sound like shit talk. Is like. Is I if, if you if you like there's so many fucking people in the Pokemon space that dislike people and they'll just shit talk and they have no basis behind it. They'll like have they'll hear one comment one time about how someone did something, but then there's like no proof of it. And they'll just all like gang up together and be like, Yeah, that happened. It's like, dude, you realize one what you're doing if, like publicly if you're shit talking something that never happened, that's defamatory. One. Two 
why? Like, if it's not true, why? <laughs> it's just stupid. Why are you? Why hate on random people if they're like not doing anything? It's just, it's just very dumb. It's very stupid. If there's proof of it, yeah, then that's something to talk about. But I don't know. I don't think Vault's done anything weird, to my knowledge. Uh, okay, well, Sin, uh, you be a baller 69. I think Justin has, a lo has lost his mind, but I do like the Mew more than the Zarya Fates. I like to gamble. Let's go, Justin. Watch you pull both Zarya Justin. I can only hope. Incoming 10 Crimson Haze from the train. <laughs> Maybe 580 minimum. It's basically 100 off a uh, Charger PSA 10. Yeah, so we basically, whoever does it is going to save themselves 100 bucks. More or less, right? Let me take a look at activity. Maybe bugging PayPal being wonky again. We'll see. Um, let's see. My man Rob. Rob just sent through 220 and said. Rob said, Justin, 2LB plus 2 Muse spots for his Paldean Fates Charizard SIR 10. Good trade. Nice, nice trade. All right, you know what I mean? I'm not going to judge it. I get it. I've I've been a gambler once. Some would argue I still am. Um, <laughs> it's a nice trade. So, Rob, you are going to be receiving the... Let me get it. Oh, fucking hand cam. <laughs> Let's do hand cam. That's why it's here. We're gonna get. You're going to get the Charizard EX SIR and a Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, you're going to be getting that one, Rob. And... We will, uh, Justin, you are going to be receiving two lucky bags. So here are your choices, Justin. You have Bellsprout, Slowbro, Dugong, Chansey, Lickitung, Hypno, Ninetales, and Arcanine. Those are your options. Um, and we will get you two spots on the Mew as well. So, Justin, you're going to get spot 22 and 23. Justin. Justin. All right, Justin. Cut it right there. All righty. Nice. So, Justin, let me know what uh what bags you would like, brother. And then, Rob, let me get this into your bag. All righty. Let me grab your bag. Rob, you're, you have a bag back here, don't you? Rob, Rob, Rob. Rob, you have a bag down here somewhere. I know you do. Because I, I organized it the other day. Rob, you're right here. I found you. I found you, you son of a gun. All right, Rob. Thank you very much, man. Sweet, Rob. Nice. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Disrespecting Sean's is verbal elderly abuse. Hey, Sean's, Sean's a good guy, man. I like Sean. When uh when my daughter was born, Sean had some very very nice words to say. That uh, I really, I really like. You didn't even have to do it. You know what I mean? You can tell when somebody's just bullshitting, just to be like, oh, happy this or congrats to this. Uh, no, he he took ty typed out like a very meaningful paragraph that was very nice. He didn't have to do that. Um, and it, you know, clearly, is that my only representation of him as an individual? No, I've seen him a, a bunch of times, like how he's been, at least outside of the content. Besides that, and he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Clearly, I don't know people for who they are in and out at all times of the day. But from what I've seen, I'd, I'd like to think I'm a decent judge, judgment of character. He seems like a, he seems like a good guy. He's like an honest guy who's just trying to do his thing. Uh, not terrible. He said slow and lick, please. Let's do it. We're going to get a slow lick. <laughs> We're going to get a slow lick. A slow lick into a bell sprout. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna do slow, bro, and lick a tongue. All right, slow lick. Let's get it. So, my man Justin, you are gonna get slow, bro, and lick a tongue. Let's get you written down for both of them, which means we will have, I believe, six bags left for the reserves. So, if anybody's interested, six bags left on the reserves. We're getting close to rolling it tonight, man. We're getting close. We are getting close. If anybody wants to get in. Did I miss all the lucky bags? B-Legs, you did not miss all the lucky bags. There is, I believe, six left. I believe there is six left, my man. Six of them lads left. I believe we have Bellsprout, Dugong, Chansey, Hypno, Ninetales, Arcanine. So just Justin just traded off his Paldean Fade Zard in a PSA 10. 300 minimum dollar slab for two spots and two Mew spots. So, man, Rob took advantage of that. He said, bet. <laughs> He said, bet, brother. 
<laughs> he said, I got you. Thank you. But Justin could, he could, like there, like I said, there is the hypothetical. He, he snipes both of them, right? It could happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, for the fourth time, I request you to see my W in Discord. Let me take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, so what's up, B-Legs? How you doing? How was your flight, B-Legs? Was it safe? Safe travels? Let's see. Um, he he or not he he. Uh, Mac is said. Finally, one yo for real. You got it. Hell fucking yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. Mac is you got the town on the map, Espion. That's sweet, dude. Oh, it's such a good card. Such a good card, dude. Such a good card. Damn, I'm jealous. That's such a good card. That's like a, what, 350 fucking dollar card? Right there? For AU? You scroll down. Yeah, <laughs> 336 USD. Yeah, plus, it was that plus shipping and fees? Anyways, queue is open. Six more LBs, and we will roll it tonight. Also, reminder, all of you that are getting in on LBs right now, all of you will be getting $20 credit to the Crimson Haze hotbox in order of the order coming through. So, next up, my man B-Legs sent through 200. B-Legs. B-Legs sent through 200 and said, Fire Dog and Bell Sprout. Even though I know it's not high tier and Bell Sprout. All right, Fire Dog and Bell Sprout for B-Legs. So we got Bell Sprout and we got Fire Dog, meaning we have four lucky bags left in the reserves. Fire bag or fire dog and bell sprout. Let's do it. Be legs. All right. Four bags left. If you want to get a second bag, you can. You have all right to do so. It is up to y'all. Be legs. LB reserve. And be legs. LB reserve. LB reserve. All righty. Let's get these taped up. Why not one lucky bag battle be that? <laughs> Pokemon's like, let's fucking battle. He's like, I want to battle. I want to do it now. Mac is, that's awesome though. It's a sweet fucking card. Such a good card, man. Espeon cards, they they have... Espeon cards, a lot of them have my heart. I love Espeon cards. So fucking good. Espeon is great. Big fan of Espeon. All right, so the last four we have are Dugong, Chansey, Hypno, and Ninetales. Ninetales, Hypno, Chansey, Dugong. Last four LBs. All right, last four, and then we will roll the reserves. Okay? Last four, and we'll roll reserves. Also, I'm going to have some tea. Hopefully, it's good. Don't taste like shit. So good. <laughs> I did it right this time. It's got a fucking... The fucking honey. Just... Uh, and it's pretty good. All right. Okay. Four more. Back home with the girlfriend and the furry kids. Hell yeah. You, you got it. You got it. Now you got to have a nice, relaxing night and enjoy yourself. That's... That's that's what that's what's got to be done. All right. So, four more bags left. I'll let... Should I let the Discord know, or do we let the Discord know? Do we do it? Do we do? Let's do a stream update. Uh, at okay, at everyone four lbs remain in the reserves. Last chance before roll. Like, you know, you fucking... <laughs> we'll see. Huh. Nine tails chancy. No dooga. That's one of the most fun things to do is when, like, the lucky bags are all together and we're naming them is to try and do it like that voice. It's genuinely fun. Like, if we take all the dud bags over here, like, or not the dud bags, the ones that have been done already, like, we could, let's just do it like this. We got, like... Caterpie, Squirtle, Gengar, Gloom, Gyarados, Diglett, Mewtwo, Muck, Krabby, Blastoise, Psyduck. Fuck, I can't do that shit. I can only do it so many, and then I then I trip up. I'm not I'm not Jason Page. I'm not that good. I can't just make fucking gold out of my voice. <laughs> he fucking can. <laughs> he fucking can. 
Remember when Jason Page signed a child's back? You guys remember that? <laughs> I remember that. What the fuck? <laughs> My pets, I don't actually have kids that are furries. <laughs> I, <laughs> I read the end of that wrong, be like, uh, Good to hear. Do you guys see my chair? What the fuck? Just like, you see that? Watch. I'm not I'm not moving my leg or anything. Look. Oh, ghouls. Was that Jason Page did the Pokey rap? No. Just just the just the just the songbird of a generation. The voice of a generation. Dude, the funniest thing in the world. I I wish I was a vendor. I wish I was a vendor at a fucking con and Jason Page came up to my fucking thing and goes, yeah, I got this uh, Jason Page card. I can sign it for you and trade it for like, I don't know, like a $50 card. I would literally look at his card and be like, hmm. Well, that's a good, pretty good deal. He'd be like, he'd feed his own ego. He'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's real good. I was thinking maybe like one of these ones and I'd be like, huh. Yeah, can you get the fuck off my fucking thing? Like, can you get the fuck out of here, dude? And he'd be like, Phew. and I'd be like, your song is all you're ever known for. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want your stupid card. And then I'd like, and then I'd, it'd be like Bulbasaur. I'd look to the camera that's like set up when you're doing vendor offers. And I'd be like, fuck that guy. Fuck him. Fuck that guy. And then that'd be the video. Do it at card party, pussy. No, I, I'm not going to start violence <laughs> for no reason. If he came up to me and tried to sell me his shitty fucking signed cards, totally. 100%. It's 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 game. I'm not and I'm not gonna be mean. I'll just be like, I don't want your fucking card, dude. Please get away from me. I just don't want your fucking card, buddy. <laughs> Keep that shit away from me. Pokemon said Chansey never wins. Gonna try that fat bubbly Kirby wannabe. Hopefully battle someone with one bag. Hold on. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so we got Chansey. Chansey for Pokemon. Here's the thing. Jason Page. Jason Page was at his peak during uh, the Pokemon theme song, and he has been riding that shit for the past fucking almost 30 years. And I get it. You can. You, you totally can. If anybody has the right to do it, it's him. But that doesn't justify him selling shitty fucking signed cards, custom cards for $50 or grading them and trying to sell them for hundreds of dollars. That does not justify that. I can judge you for being a shitty human being. I will keep that away from the good work you have done though. I'll, I'll try to. I can listen to the Pokemon theme song and be chill and not think of Jason Page scummy fucking guy. But I... <laughs> Hey, fuck Jason Page. <laughs> that's all I can say. I fuck Jason Page. Fuck Jason Page. He's, he's fucking... Uh, you, that's all you've done is a theme song. That's all you fucking... That's it. That's it. I think you did like a, a couple jingles here and there after. But like, that's fucking it. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck Jason Page. <laughs> like, Jason Page. I don't have any... Uh, everything I'm saying about you is completely like... It's factual, too. Like, all your... You've done this. This is not like me being like... This isn't defamatory. You've done this. You you literally have listed your cards up on your website. You have signed your cards and tried to sell them. There's video proof of you trying to sell your cards for 50 plus dollars. Nothing I'm saying is defamatory. It's all factual. I don't like Jason Page. I don't like Jason Page. I don't. So, Jason Page, please try and sell me one of your fucking cards. <laughs> I will have the best clip in the entire the, the entire year's worth of Pokemon shorts. I will have the best fucking clip. Oh, my response will be golden. It'll be... But I'm not a vendor. I'm not a vendor at a con or anything. So I doubt that that would ever happen. I'm not going to harass the guy. I don't, I don't give enough of a fuck. I don't harass people. Yeah. I'll talk shit. I'll talk a little shit if it's just, but I don't harass. That's That's goofy. Let's see. Um, no, he did not do the Pokemon. Account. He did the Indigo Lean intro song. Jason signed my slice of pizza. I didn't even know who he was. Just walked up behind me. I was sitting at the table and he told me that slice is now worth 50 bucks. <laughs> I want to change. Be like, do you want to trade for a lucky ball? One spot on Mew Master for PSA 10 Master Ball? Uh, do it at Card Party Pussy. I heard Jason Page do a tribute to Ash's arc ending in the anime. It hit the feels hard. It's <laughs> Jason Page Instagram. 
I've deep dived this shit. I've deep. I literally. So like back when I was in the Discord with a lot of the uh, critical hit podcast guys. By the way, love for all of them. They're all great. But back when I was in that Discord, there was one time I think post one of the the fucking like lives where we were just deep diving Jason Page, and my. God, was it unbearable. If you go on like any of his Instagram fucking posts, one way or another, it will fucking sidetrack into him singing the fucking Pokemon theme song or him promoting his cards. It's one way or the other. It'll get there. It's like it's like every fucking rabbit hole you take inevitably leads to $50 custom card or I want to be <laughs> you cannot avoid it. It's so fucking funny. How dare you disrespect Chansey, one of the best gen ones. I'm not buying him, but Ninetales, I have a feeling about it. Ninetales is consistently mid-tier. He dresses like... <laughs> What's up, John? I don't think he has any other source of income. Go back to school. <laughs> that's, too e that's, too, that's too difficult. He gives me the vibes that he probably almost declined signing the or singing them the theme song. He's too world famous to sing this new Japanese children's show theme song. What is he washed up? Why would he do that? Kids stay in school. You don't like Jason, the voice of a generation, the guy from that po one Pokemon card, the man who has hit his cards at 1K. I'm absolutely not a fan of the level of autographs of, of uh, Pokétours. Have an autographed Justin Roiland Rick and Morty comic. But like, here's the thing with Justin Roiland, it makes sense. Like he made he made the the show right. Like that, I can I can understand. Like the creator, that'd be like like clearly a little different. But like it'd be like if Stan Lee signed something. It's like oh, whoa, that's pretty fucking cool. Jason Page sung the Pokemon theme song almost thirty years ago, and he's still trying to milk that shit. It's like what the fuck are you doing? Like, dude, get a job. It's like is this your is this your your source of income? Going up to vendors at fucking cons and just being like. <laughs> You see that Pikachu you got in that slab? Can I have that for fifty fucking dollars? Like that's what he does. It's what he fucking is that what he does? He's done it once. We know he's done it once. It's like, buddy, stop. <laughs> that's fucking weird. It'd be cool to get the VAs of Jesse and James to sign their full, the full art of their characters. That would be cool. That would be fucking sweet. Even like, dude, there is a weird. I don't know if it's her doing it. I, I, and again, I, I'm not pressed about this. I just think it's a little wonky. I will say, Jason Page weird. There's the other, the one that voiced Ash. Um, doesn't she sign a bunch of cards, as well? Now, does she try selling her signed cards? That's that's when it becomes weird. If you're selling your own signature, that's weird. Has Veronica Veronica Taylor has she tried signing her own or selling her own signed cards? Has she ever done that? If not, she's chill. She's cool. Whatever. The voice of Ash, cool. You're, you're in the clear. But I know she signs cards, like just like how like um, Arita or like fucking Comia or etc. Any of these individuals that have signed cards before, they've made the art, the illustrations for. They don't sell their own cards. They'll sign them, but they don't sell them. Mac, no. So she doesn't sell her own cards. Boom. You're fine. You're good. That's it. You're, you're j fucking awesome. If you're Jason Page and you're walking around signing shit and trying to sell it, you are a fucking clown. You are a clown. You're a goofball. You're a fucking goofball. That's just weird. Like, it's like And it's not even like it's like... <laughs> it's not even like he's like, oh, my signature is worth a lot. He's like... $50 now. <laughs> Please, I need to eat. <laughs> you probably an agent that books it for conventions that make you pay a fee for a signature, but that's kind of out of her control. Yeah, exactly. So, like, then she's fine. Yeah, you're good. Do I think the individuals relisting her stuff for crazy prices is normal? No. I don't think that's, you know... I guess it's subjective, secondhand market type shit. I've met her, and she's cool. Yeah, there's... Uh, uh, voice of Ash seems pretty fucking sane. She seems sane. Seems like she's got her marbles together. Uh, fucking Jason Page, though. It's up for debate. That's subjective. She gets paid to sign cards at cons. Yes, yeah, so th there you go. So then it's a, for her, it's like a, it's a job. She's getting paid for it. Probably has an agent that gets her to these fucking places, and there you go. I give 25 cents for it. Probably has drawings. <laughs> you sign with that. 
Fucking Jay Page, the boy. I love how we went. We were just chilling. We're in like our, our the end of the lucky bags. We're right at the depths. We're at the last four. We're at the last three lucky bags. We're at the last three. We're at Dugong, Nine Tails, Hypno. We're about to roll these bitches, and instead we went on a Jason Page tangent. <laughs> Let's take a look here. So yeah, we have the last three LBs. If anybody wants to wrap this wrap this round up, here's what you got: Nine Tails, Hypno, Dugong. Keep in mind, lots of slabs in these last 10. So even if you didn't hit the Charizard, you can still hit, aim for the moon and land amongst the stars. There's a Venusaur SIR-10 I know hasn't been pulled. There's a Rockets Charmander uh, Japanese 10 that I know hasn't been pulled. Um, and there's some other stuff that's real good that hasn't been pulled that I know of that isn't the Zards. So even if you don't get the Zards, you can still do very well. I learned Pokemon in Spanish. Autos mean jack shit to me. Chat is <laughs> chat is fun. Dude, it's like I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a I've seen a I've seen and this is this is okay. I have seen a video of Jason Page signing a child in a questionable spot on their back. Just on their back, but it's still like kind of weird. Now, again, actually, how do I word this? I'm trying to word things correctly. There's, it's, it's a real video. I can't, say, I can say that because it's true. But then I have to acquire the video. God forbid there was any other fucking bullshit from this. Um. <laughs> it, there's really no other way to put this. It's just, it's just, it's, it's blatant. I, and I know an individual that has it. God forbid they ever try to do anything. So it's I'm not even, it's not even like, I'm not, I, I am not worried about saying it. Yeah. He, he, there's a video of fucking Jason Page signing a child's back on a stage. It's fucking weird. It's just weird. It's all it is, man. It's weird. Now, does that mean, I don't, and I'm not saying there's anything weird about it. Like he's doing anything. No, it, it, it's, it could have been innocent in his mind, but it looks weird. It looks a little weird. It just looks a little weird, right? I'm not making any accusations at all. Nothing at all. I would not do such a thing. Just looks a little weird. Video looks a little weird. If we get dominant, sign a lucky bag, devalued by 75%. Yep. 80%. It's fucked. Sign my LeChunk AR once. Went down $69. <laughs> Went down. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta watch what you say, because you never know what people are fucking wild enough. It's not not worried about it, man. Not worried about it. If you've done something on video, like you know, it's there. Kid's gonna get that tatted when he turns eighteen. <laughs> I mean, it's not a damn a damn, a damn base sword. I really wanna get the uh, Charmander. I love that little guy. It's such a good card, man. It's such a good card. Three, three reserves left. Let's get them. Who's going to bite the bullet and get one bag each in the last three? <laughs> Who's going to do it? Who going to do it? Who going to do it? Who going to fucking do it? I want to see any Poke Beach updates on anything. No. Fun. Any Morty's Conviction SIR updates? Any new list? Let's look at new listings. Newly listed. Any? Um, there are a couple newly listed all over $76. Of <laughs> course. Why wouldn't they be? Why fucking wouldn't they be? What about sold listings? Anyone's sell recently? Yeah. Morty's Conviction X S I R sold today for $70. Had to have been within the past two hours. So that, that's just justifying the TCG player price even more. It just, it just is just, it's okay. It's giving it. It's giving it a uh, merit. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck Christ, of course. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the listed me What do you mean? <laughs> the listed median on TCG players saying it's 125. Bro, don't do that. Don't feed into it, bad out. Ah, your bad fucking systems feeding into it. No. No, don't do that. Ah, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I 
I was hoping to buy like a f like I was hoping there would be like I could get like five more of those at like 30 to 40 bucks. And I just didn't pull the trigger and now look. <laughs> now look where we're at. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Well, what can you do? Maybe maybe if I maybe if I get one of the copies I bought when it comes in, maybe if I get one of them signed by Jason Page, I can sell it and then rebuy the $125 copies and I can have that's a genius idea. All right, new plan, new game plan. We're going to buy Morty. We we ha I have a Morty SIR coming in. I'm going to fucking send it to J Page. I'm going to pay $50 to have him sign it, which will give it $50 more in value. But because it's on a Gengar, and he sang the Pokemon theme song, which had Gengar in the show, it actually times fives the value, which means his signature is $250. On top of a $125 card, that means $375 I could get for it. Then I sell it, take off my eBay fees, 13%. I'm rocking at like another, it's minus 40, 50 bucks. I'm like 325. I have like 200 profit there. I can buy another and I can just repeat the process over and over and over. I'm fucking golden, bro. Nobody can stop me. Jason Page is my key to infinite money glitch. <laughs> I can't wait. Get a proxy base. I don't have Jason Page. So I still get an auto 10. <laughs> Be like, you still there? Be likes Justin is trying to. He wants to give you a little some some. I really want to see all this roll. It looks like it's not going to happen. I think it. I think it can. I think it can happen. I think it can happen. I think it'll happen tonight. We have three bags left. Three bags left. I think. I think it could happen. I think it could happen. I think it could happen. We will see. Three bags left. You know what I'm saying? Three baggery news. I'm still here, champ. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I'm going to fucking... You know what we should do? Oh, that'd be so fucking fun. <laughs> the Okay, you know what I would do? Genuinely. And I would admit to it. Like, live. On camera. If I were to ever pump anything and admit to it live... I would pump Ryan's signature. CTR. I would pump his... I would have somebody who has one fucking sell it. And i tell them to list it above Jason Page's signature. And I would buy Ryan's. Because then, canonically speaking, Ryan's signature would have more value than Jason Page. And that would be fucking hysterical. That would be the biggest fuck... Oh, I'd love that. I'd buy it, too. I'd fucking buy it. I'd make a video on it. I'd be like, Ryan Signature, 69 bucks. Jason Page, 50. So last year, dude. You guys are buying J Page signatures? What the fuck? Weird. That'd be so fucking funny. Just said, want to trade? Trade what? How and why CTR? How? I don't know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> It'll never happen. <laughs> it, it won't happen. I'm just fucking around. But it'd be super funny. Just like anybody's signature who has like, who's just like a poke, just like any PokeTuber signature and just like make it more value than Jason Page would be so funny. I think that'd be goofy. I need Justin Royal and sign Morty's conviction. That'd be funny. Damo, when do I need to translate? Ah, yes, Thomas, I need you to translate Korean for me right now. He must be vintage by now. <laughs> I buy a CTR sig. <laughs> Lucky bag and one spot on Mew, and I'll give you my PSA 10 Mewtwo maternally. So you'd be so Justin will give you his Mewtwo PSA 10 Master Ball for a lucky bag spot and one Mew spot, which the Master Ball Mewtwo is basically worth that. It's 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 almost worth exactly that. It's worth like 110 to 130. I'm gonna get a one of one auto 10 thick Pikachu GX by Donald <laughs> signed by Donald Trump. Hey yo, Donald. Can you sign my Pikachu? CTR signed Fusion Strike booster box. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sad Fusion Strike is actually gonna be like 
a little more expensive to obtain now. A little sad. A little sad. A little sad, man. Not all set. Thank you, though. Okay. All right. Should I announce that we... Should I announce in the Discord one more time we have three left? Or do we just kind of... What do we do? Should, what, sh what should we do? What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking the move is? What uh, You know what I can do? Fine, I'll do this. I'll do it. I'll do it. You guys put me in a corner, so I'll fucking do it. To the next... And I still have... To, so, I actually... So, actually, let me take a look. So, Pokemon, you actually get plus four. Plus four. B legs gets plus four. B legs plus four. All right. So B legs and Pokemon all get plus four for Crimson Haze, and everybody else gets one. But for the last three lucky bags, I will give you. I will give you, and I mean this. I promise. I'll give you ten free Crimson Haze. That's fifty dollar value. Uh, for the last three lucky bags grabbed, you'll get 10 free Crimson Haze with your bag. So a nice $50 credit. Could pull a nice SAR, one of the big ones, worth 70, 80, like, bucks. And you know what I mean? Run, I mean, you can run with that. So, if you want to get one of the last three lucky bags, I'll give you 10 free Crimson Haze hot box. All right, I'll do it just for tonight so we can get this over with. If anybody wants to take the deal, go ahead. If not, then maybe we roll tomorrow. We'll see. Either way, I'm not moving that, touching that. That should not move. We should, we've screenshot of that. This tea's solid, bro. It's so good. Uh, what Pokemon would Donald match up with? Uh, Gumshoes or Young Goose. PSA needs to grade booster boxes. Like yesterday. I really only collect Arcanine, Growlithe, Haunter, and Kabutops. Great fucking Pokemon. All are great options. I'm a big... I like Haunter a lot. You know what one of my favorite cards is, man? Fucking Haunter from Fossil. One of my favorite fucking cards is Haunter from Fossil. Do I get CH for buying Justin's two LBs? Yes, you you get plus one for each of those. So Rob, you will get plus one for each of those. So you would get, yeah, plus one. But starting right now, it's only for the last three. Let's take a look at activity. Let's see if anybody's going to take me up on the offer. My man, Albert, sent through a hundo. Albert! Albert sent through a hundo and said, uh, LB. All right, Albert, here's what we got left, brother. We got Dugong, Hypno, and Ninetales. Surprise, Ninetales made it to the fucking depths, dude. That's wild. Usually, Ninetales is a fan favorite. A lot of people pick Ninetales quick. All right, Albert. You are going to get plus 10 on the CH. Taking the offer, Albert. I'd love to see that. I want to see this roll tonight, so we'll push it a little bit. There's a Gengar with red hair that's maybe a good Donald Trump <laughs> So Albert, let me know which one you would like, and we will get it for you. Alrighty. Nine tails. Sounds good to me. Nine tails. Nine tails. Here we go, Albert. Nine tails. Woo! All right, Albert. So you're going to get plus 10. That means Dugong and Hypno are the last two. And both of them, you'll receive 10 Crimson Haze if you buy them. All right. Take a look here at the old activity on the PayPal's. All right. So. Two spots left on the reserves, and we will roll this. Who in chat thinks it's worth getting the last two? You, you can basically get half your value back in a CH, which is good. You pull a big hit, then you're chilling. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. Up to you guys. Up to you guys. Mmm, so good. Very good. I suppose my favorite Haunter arts and Pokepix. Let me guess. Uh, I'm going to take a guess before even looking. Um, your favorite Haunter arts are going to be the 
Vending Series Haunters. Uh, Fossil Haunter, clearly. It's the fucking goat. Um, you probably also like, like, Sabrina's Haunter. One of one of the two. I believe there's two, right? Yeah. There's two Ghastlies, two Haunters, yeah. From Ch Challenge, Yamabuki deck, etc. Uh, you probably also like... What's a really good Haunter art? There's Dark Haunter from fucking... Or no, am I... Th no, I not Haunt... Yeah, no. Mm, no, I'm thinking of... Um, uh, fucking Neo Destiny Haunter. Solid. There's, uh... Is it Dark Haunter? It might be Dark Haunter. Or I think a Dark Omastar. Like an asshole, maybe. Uh, there's some really good ha or haunt... There's a, there's a really good Haunter art in, like... Fucking, um... Ruby Sapphire, I think. Nice one. You got your Cardis Haunter. Solid. I don't... Let me take a look. Let's just... Let's just look. Pokey picks. Let's take a look here. Yup, there he is. There he is. Expedition Reverse Foil, the boy. And then Legend Maker. Yeah, Legend Maker is so fucking good. That's the one I was. That's the boy. That's the boy. Fucking Legend Maker Haunter, dude. So goofy. I love it. Or not, not goofy. It's so spooky. He's just like. Ooh. I love it. And then fucking, um, the, what's it called? The, um, the Expedition Haunter is funny. It reminds me a little bit of the, uh, reminds me a little bit of the Vending Series one. I like them both a lot. They're solid. Literally zero correct, but we saw, <laughs> fuck. I tried, I tried. Damn, dude. I'm just a biased bitch for the Fossil Haunter. I'm such a biased bitch for it because it was like I, I never pulled I never pulled a Gengar when I was younger, but I did I did have an opportunity to open Unlimited Fossil as a kid, and I remember pulling a Haunter, and I remember I was like, "This is the best fucking Pokemon ever," because <laughs> I, I I pulled a Charizard once too from uh it was either base or base two. I remember, like, that was a, that's a core memory in my childhood that I remember. I remember in our old townhouse, I was on the floor and I opened it and pulled it. And I was like, Ugh. and then, um, but I was probably three or four years old. So I was like, I, I understood, but I didn't understand. I just knew what Charizard was. And I was like, probably like, Toby's on. Oh my God. You know, um, some things don't change. Some things never change. You got kids doing that today. But then Haunter, I remember pulling when I was like four, four or five from like a unlimited jungle. I don't know where the fuck I got it. Maybe a Toys R Us. And I was like, Haunter is the best? <laughs> it's like, is this the best Pokemon? I didn't even know what Gengar was at that point. I had no fucking clue. Not a clue what Gengar was. Because I had never pulled it. So I was like, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I knew Gengar from the anime. But I know I could... Or No, I didn't even know Gengar from the anime yet. I didn't watch... Um, what is it? Haunted Tower, whatever the fuck. Or like Tower of Terror, whatever the episode's called. I didn't even watch that one yet. Dom, I want to get the rolls set up while we wait for the rest of the LBs to sell. Yeah, for sure. We can do that. All right. Reminder, two LB reserves left. Anyone can grab them. If you do, you get 10 Crimson Haze hotbox on me. I'll let the Discord know one more time. Somebody's going to tell me to fuck off because I've been adding everyone too much. All right, let's do it. Last... Last two spots on LB reserves. Whoever gets them also gets a free 10 Crimson Haze hot box. Let's roll this tonight. At everyone. And Max is already prep. He's already preparing. <laughs> He's already preparing. <laughs> How do I do a GIF? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get the roll set up. That'd be smart. I was a little too old for Pokemon. Missed the uh, rally about f by about four. The vi oh, about four years. It's like. Pokemon, I feel like, is one of those things where it's so cool because you can 
you like it's one of those things that can just kind of fucking it can hit you when you're a kid it can hit you when you're adult when you're a teen it just when it hits you it hits you and you're like damn right, how bad how bad do y'all want to see it roll we want to see it roll he he we want to see it roll my parents never bought me Pokemon cards. Always played it and remember vividly the release of black and white, but cards were too silly for us to see them. I just remember the goofy-ass fucking old commercials they would have. Like, they'd have some funny commercials, dude, for Pokemon. A lot a lot were, like, bad, like pretty badass, but then some were kind of goofy. Um, Hee-hee, do it and win the Maridon. Hee-hee, do it. You won't. <laughs> the Ninetales is hitting, no lie. Do it. Ch -ch -ch do it. I'll give you something for their mind right on if you win it. He <laughs> he. So we about to we about to roll this bitch. We about to roll this bitch. I'm down. Two more left. Dugong and Hypno. The two fan favorites. <laughs> Hypno has been at the bottom so many fucking times. <laughs> Be like said Karidon Maridon. You take that back. Now nah, they're both cool. I like them both. I'm mo I'm a little more biased towards Maridon. Just because I like the Maridon SR a lot. However, uh, Crydon still really fucking cool. Crydon has a great shiny. Crydon shiny be like, is it? I was into baseball cards, which tanked. Baseball, I don't know anything about baseball cards. I, I should. I should probably know something. I don't know anything about sports cards. I kind of stick to what I know and what I like. And it's not like I, you know, I'm an avid sports watcher. <laughs> It's just the TCG side of it. I'm not, you know what I mean? Not super. It just, it just never stuck with me. Also, the Gardevoir will be rolled too. So, he, he, you get entries towards her too. Crown of SR is actually really good. It's a solid card. Scarlet base, violet base when it comes to SRs. Uh, Scarlet has what? Coridon, Penny, Jack, or is Jack in fucking, um, is Jack in violet? Penny, I think it's Penny and Jack. Jock. And you have um, Guard of War. Anything else I'm missing? There might be. There might be. Probably something else. Right on is purple, and that's an automatic win. Let's fucking go, John. <laughs> let's go. Right, let's refresh Q and see if it, let's see if it, the unexpected happened. Oh, Great Tusk and yeah, Great Tusk. Yep, Great Tusk is such a good fucking SAR, dude. Great Tusk, Japanese Great Tusk SAR was it was probably like my two favorite cards from Scarlet and Violet Base in Japanese. I, I never opened any English because it was just like it was just not as it wasn't as good. Um, Scarlet and Violet Base for for Japanese. My favorite cards were probably the Maridon. And uh, Maridon and the Great Tusk. They're just so fucking good. Like, they're all really good. It's just the Maridon and the, the Great Tusk were just like... I remember when we were opening boxes of it, we kept pulling the fucking uh, Iron Treads SAR. Like, there was four boxes. We pulled three of them. We pulled three out of four boxes. We pulled a uh, Iron Treads SAR from three fucking boxes, all from the same case. It was wild. It was goofy, bro. I don't think we've done that since. I don't think we... Like, we've pulled the same S SIR, SIR, like, quick. But not... That's never happened. Again. Uh, Scarlet Base sucks. It's Scarlet and Violet Base... Or, the whole... The set as a whole is pretty fucking... Eh. It, like, for Japanese, it was fun. It was a lot of fun on release. For English, it was like, I don't fucking care. It's like the best base set for any fucking era. But... In comparison to the rest of things after, it's, you know. Crydon, Great Tusk, Jack, Jack. If anyone wants to trade my Crydon, Crydon, Marmius for any close value, I'm down. What? Scarlet Base Penny SR is beautiful. Everyone I know, he has pulled an Iron Treads SR from Scarlet Base. Iggy's Base. Everyone I know has pulled an Iron Treads. <laughs> Iron Treads is just that guy. He's just like, you're like, oh, shit, it's this dude. <laughs> He's here. All right. He he, were you talking shit or are you gonna are you gonna get us across the finish line? Let's see. Was he 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 he? I'll make a I'll I'll, I'll give you I'll give you an, an 
an ultimatum. Hee hee, I have a metric fucked on a One Piece bulk and like good cards that like are good. Like I, they're like the sparkly ones. I'll give them all to you for free if you get us across the finish line. They're all in my car. It's like the equi the accumulate of like the accumulative amount that I, from the One Piece packs I've opened. Like just like five. But like there's some cool shit in there. You can have them all for free if you get us across the finish line. I, I know everybody else is super keen on One Piece, but if it wasn't one five one, I would go for it. Well, it's not like one five one. The set it's one five one is in Kanto. So and there's yeah. So like there's some solid fucks in there. Like there's some really good fuckers in there that aren't just one five one. SV top ten cards may not crack two hundred. Not yet. I don't think yet. I don't even. I don't even think we're at like the peak S S slash V card. I don't think we're at it yet. I don't. Th I don't think we're there yet. I think the peak S V card is going to be something. Something in the last like four sets, and it, it, one of those f last four sets will be. Or no, you know what I think it'll be. I think the peak. The, the card that's going to fucking top out this bitch, it's going to be either A, a new rarity of like any evolution, or B, it's going to be some new mega evolution of a new rarity in one of the sets that, you know, corresponds with Legend ZA being released. Kind of like how Astral Radiance had like, you know, all the Hisuian forms, something like that, but for Legend ZA with some type of fucking, you know, some type of crazy mega evolution or crazy shit. The SAR... Here's the thing about the SARs that are great. The SARs are so good, you can throw anything in them and they'll perform. Like, in the, for the English market, if, if you make the cards hard to pull, you can throw anything in the SARs and they'll do good. When they're super easy to pull, it it's hard. But what now that they are harder to to pull with, like, Temporal Forces, you, can, you see all the SARs are performing, like, way better than any previous because they, they're hard to pull. So throw a good-looking card on top of hard pull rates, the price will start to reflect. Also, manipulation. <laughs> That's a thing, too. Uh, okay, then don't do it. That's bold, he... He, I probably have some stuff that's not one five one. I can trade you if you don't like one five one. Actually, pulls art unless I'm already shipped. No, you're 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 here, man. Your your stuff's here. We're gonna try and get shipping out tomorrow. Today today I couldn't get out there, but to not today. You know what I mean. Problem with OG decks is that is the biggest deck, so there's bound to be a bit of duds. Oh, like in the the one like one five one Pokemon people like and don't like. Okay. <laughs> Dude, PayPal been wonky as shit the past week. It's so funny. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> PayPal just like fucked off and it was like, can't retrieve your tax data. When I was like looking at Q. <laughs> and then I refreshed it and it was fine. So fucking funny, dude. All right. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call... I'm going to say uh, 10 more minutes to get these last two bags. 10 more minutes if anyone wants to reserve the last two. If not, um, if not, we can, uh, we can go about it one of two ways. Here's how we can go about it. We can either A, hold it till tomorrow, or B, we... Can nah now nah, we can we can hold for tomorrow or we can I don't know I don't fucking know <laughs> I don't know all right let me take a look let me take a look here because I want to get I want to get the what's it called roll I gotta get the wheel up. Ding, 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 ding. Get all these out of here. All right. Mac has showed me how to do this. Threads. All righty. Okay. So we have free nightly would be yesterday and today. So I have to put these up right here. It's 
That's for this is gonna be for the Espeon. I don't know how to do that. <sighs> Open the two and show it could have been. We could do that if you got I mean we could. Hold till tomorrow. Open the two show it could have been. I'll let you rain check them. I'll do both. <laughs> What a legend. Fucking B-Legs. B-Legs did the impossible. B-Legs sent through 200. And set. PayPal? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> if I go to the activity page on PayPal, it says error, CMAP function. Re can't retrieve data. But I, I th it came through. I know it came through. So I'll go to my email and that'll make it easier. Okay. Take a look. So if I go down, B Legs said, "Let's do it." So B Legs sent two hundred for the last two. B Legs, you're a legend. B Legs, you're gonna get twenty Crimson Haze, so a hundred dollars worth of Crimson Haze off these. So B Legs, you got Hypno Dugong. Ooh, Hypno Dugong. B Legs, that's fucking legend status right there. Let's call it what it is. Let's let's fucking call it what it is. That's legend status. Crossing the finish line for the gamers. Fucking mad lad. I appreciate you, B legs. All right, so that's gonna get my man B legs. He's gonna get hypno. L B reserve. L B reserve. <laughs> B legs. L B reserve. All righty. So here's how we're gonna start, the, and that's gonna be plus 10 each. So plus 10 CH, plus 10 CH. Alrighty. You have ads? How do you have ads? I turned ads off. JD, I'm back. JD! What's <laughs> up, JD? All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna do this in the order. Or no, we should do it, here's how we should do it. We should do it. So let me just write everybody. So everybody that doesn't have plus four, everybody, you go off plus one, plus four, plus ten. Okay, so here's how we can do this. I'm going to take the two bags that contain the Zards. And I got to let me confirm. Let me just confirm. Okay, who are you? Hold up. Okay. Right, did I show? Did I show? Oh, oh, there. Okay, so these two have the Zards. So that is that guy and that guy. Okay. Gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna put the two bags that contain the Zards to the back. Let me find them. Where are they? Convenient. Okay, <laughs> let's let's get into it. You ready? Little shuffle on him, tiny shuffle, nothing too crazy. Let's start it off. Bang. B legs is gonna start it off with Dugong. All right, Dugong, not the high tier. Let's take a look at Dugong. Let's see who Dugong is. Where Dugong come from? Where'd he go? Does he know that guy, Cotton Eye Joe? We'll find out. Oh, found Dugong. There he is. We're going to put this right here. Let me move this. Let me finish this. Good shit. Good shit. Dugong. So, B-Legs, let's take a look here. Bang. Dugong. So, uh, Dugong's solid. <laughs> Dugong's really good. So, Dugong, as you can see. Dugong, gong. Dugong has, as we can see. Yeah. Uh, basic energy. Basic energy. Basic energy. Basic energy. Basic energy. Golem. Arbok. Chowak. Zapdos, Nido King, yo! <laughs> Zapdos, EX, SIR, beautiful. Mewtwo, Mew, Mew, and Venusaur, Gem Mint 10, SIR. That's a good bag. That's a fucking solid bag. Damn, Dugong. What you been doing with all that gong? <laughs> all right, it's a solid bag. Solid bag.
Zapdos EX SIR, and a beautiful Vina Gemint Tan. Solid. Right there alone. That's really good. Right there alone, you're chilling. That's a plus 20 on top of that. We got Ga. Ga. That's a plus 20 for Ga. And we got Nido King. Nido King IR, I believe, is around 10. It's a solid first bag. That was a good, that was a good bag. I'm like, be legs. Solid first bag. All right, let's get you. Here. All right, here's what we're going to do. Take the previous bags. Great LB, we take those. That's a great fucking start. Especially for the amount B-Legs bought, that's a solid fucking start. I'm pretty sure for B-Legs, the value you had there is like what? 20 for Muse, 20 for Gas, Zapdos around 4, 35, 40. It's 80 plus the Vina. Vina rocking 130, 150. So it's 210 plus the other boys. That's probably around a 220, 230 bag. Probably made 120 bucks on that bag right there. That's really good. That's a great start. So B legs, we're gonna take this, do this. That is a oh whoopsies. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Why is why do I not feel a slab? <laughs> Starting off strong on that one, B legs. Love to see it. And then B legs, you also get 10 crimson haze. So you actually get more than that. B legs, 10 crimson. Let's, let's do it. Let's just fucking let's roll into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. 10 growth. Oh, oh, we're pumping. Let, oh. oh, it's a start of a pump right there. Sinistra, Froakie, Vulpix. Is it? Yo, it was. No. It's a pumperino. We're pumping. We're pumping. You only got a Sinistra out of that. That's pretty sus. <laughs> that's sinis, sinis sus. <laughs> pretty Sinistra sus. Uh, but yeah, you, that's a pumperino. We're pumping Crimson Haze right now. So S A R likely to be shown tonight it'll be shown on the horizon let's see all right be legs also we put in the squirrel bag because that's the only bag i had on the floor <laughs> so it'll work um all right next bag up after be legs gonna be again all right be legs doubling up okay so we shuffled up be legs is up again be legs hypno take a look hypno let's find him hypno 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 i found hypno here he is Hypno, Hypno, he doesn't have a slab, but he gets silly good. Hypno, 5 CH, so we're going to get you 15 CH. You're probably going to pull whatever is at getting pumped right now from Crimson Haze. Ghastly, he's 20, that's nice, 21, 22, uh, 25, ooh, that's good. 25, he's 28, so that's 53, plus these guys, that's 73. Wait, what's going on with him? Oh, I thought he was really top heavy. 73 in value plus your 5 CH. That's $98 in value. B legs. 98 value on that guy. Let's get this sleeved up for you. That's 98 value on that bag. Hypno 98. Lost two bucks. But you actually might not lose two bucks when we see what comes out of that Crimson Haze. Actually, no, you didn't fucking lose two bucks because you get 10 Crimson Haze hotbox on top of that. So you actually make 48? You actually make 48 on that one. Because you get the 10 CH on top of the already 5 CH you get for doing the last two. That actually works out for you. All right. So, B-Legs, uh, this could go really well. Let's see. You have 5 CH plus the 10 CH you already have for doing the last two. Let's rip that. 15 CH. So, let's grab them. Um, I know I'll have more. I think this might be 15. Maybe not. Probably off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Four more. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, 15. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look here. Let's do it in order. Make it interesting. Chiyu. Let's pump. Ah! Uh, yo! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Terra Greninja EX S A R. That's beautiful. Damn, dude. The fucking frog boy. <laughs> the fucking frog pulling up to the crib like. Yo. All right. You got a little frog action going in there. You, you like frogs? I heard you like frogs. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Terra Greninja uh, SAR. 
casually pulled out of the CH. All right, I think we're done the pumps. We can just turn it around. We'll just go like this. Okay, and my fucking, my meth head boy. I love him. <laughs> Sweet boy. My car, okay, Probo Pass. Jerry is again. <laughs> if you're an ape. Ah, oh, come on. That's the like, cutest little thing you've ever seen. Bondage. Ting Lu. Walking Wake. Infernape. Screamtail. Another fucking my boy. Ursaluna. All right, there we go. So a lot of a lot of good cards here. I want the Blood Moon. <laughs> maybe somebody pull either you or maybe somebody else will pull the Blood Moon. And you could trade them a frog for it. <laughs> maybe they're like, I want the frog. And you're like, I want the moon or the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon's so it's just such a pretty card, man. I really I really like how simple it is. A lot of people and myself were low key hoping for like a an evil fucking Blood Moon Ursaluna esque card, and then it, it didn't happen. And I was like, "This is okay." I was like, "I like this. This is pretty good." Like this ain't this ain't bad. So the ten CA top box actually ended up working in the favor. You love to see it. You love to see it. All righty. And my boy. Meth head mag cargo. I love this guy. It's my boy. He's cracked out. He's the homie. I love him. Sweet, sweet boy. So I mean Growly is adorable. It's such a good card. So you did you actually had a really good round there. <laughs> you had a fucking solid round, dude. That was a really good round. And the bull you said the bulba looks well centered? Let's take a look. Left to right looks good. Top to bottom looks real nice. What about the back? That's not on card. That's on sleeve. Oh, what happened here? Tiny whitening, bottom right. Tiny whitening, bottom right on that boy. What about these guys on the back? All right. Sweet. That went well. Be legs. Hypno. Went well. All righty. Be legs. Let's throw that in your bag. Next up is Albert. Albert gets 10 Crimson Hayes. Put these in V-Legs back. Alrighty. Albert! Uh, Cargo living his Hawaiian dream? <laughs> Alright, what is it? Uh, nine Tails. Nine Tails. Nine Tails. Nine tails. So you're going to get five CH plus 10 CH. That's 75 value. But let's see if we can grab something else with it, Albert. I'm hoping we can. Albert, so far you have 75 value no matter what. So you're also going to have, that's 95 value. So Albert, we make five more dollars. You've broken even. 96. 97. 100? 112 or 110? Albert, nice. <laughs> Albert, there you go. Albert, you're walking away from this. Doing pretty damn well. Albert, I believe you probably made about on that bag plus with the plus 10. You definitely did well there. I believe total you're going to make on that is what? 5 CH, 25, plus 10, 75. Blastoise alone is 50. So that's 125 plus Mew plus gas. You're making like 60 to 70 on that bag, brother. That's a good bag. Beautiful card, man. Beautiful card. Solid, solid, solid card. Blasty boy. Yo, Blasty. You think we can pull a quick one-two with the SARs out of the Crimson Haze? You think Albert can also just get a quick one-two? I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, 5 CH plus 10 CH for Albert. So he's going to have 15 CH overall. One of the perks. Albert, 15 CH. Let's see if we can do it for you. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I was so close. Dude, that would have been fucking <laughs> been crazy. All right, let's do it. You ready? Infernape, <laughs> my boy. Okay, that's good. That's good. Blood Moon Ursaluna Gold. That's solid. Okay. That's a good fucking pull. We like that. We're fans of that here. I'm a fan of that. I'm a big fan of that, personally. 
I took that personally. <laughs> All right. Blood Moon Ursa Luna Gold. Not the SAR, but... Damn, you can't tell me that card ain't fucking gold. Like, gorgeous. <laughs> Not gold, gorgeous. Shit's nice. All right, here we go. Vulpix. Tank, so a small pump into that, which makes sense. It's a good gold. Screamtail. Spinnerat. Crawdaunt. Why a little pump right here? Sinistra. Sin <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? The boy. <laughs> How many of those did we get there? Okay. Screamtail, Sinistra, Sinistra, and Iron er, Infernape. Was that another pump, actually? Was that a, Were we pumping into something else after the Blood Moon? I don't know. Were we pumping into something else post-Blood Moon? Somebody confirm and or deny. I don't know. Either way, Albert, that's a good bag. That's a solid bag for you, man. What was that, Ninetales? Ninetales did you good. Ninetales did my man Albert good. That's what I like to see. Get in there, Sinister. What are you doing? Albert, not bad, man. Did I put on this one? Yes, I did. I did put that for those. Cool. All right, good. All righty. Next up after Albert is going to be... Chansey! Chansey coming in. Pokemon plus four on the CH. So that's going to be a nice 20 bucks to add to the value. Chansey! Chansey! Oh, no, they're over here. I remember. Ooh. All right. Chansey is going to be the Japanese Rocket Charmander in a Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful slab here. Now this. Now this. Now this is good. <laughs> beautiful Japanese Rocket Charmander in a Gem Mint 10 from the Chansey, but you also get four Crimson Haze hotties. So let's see how this goes. All right. One, two, three, four. See how it goes. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe it goes good. Let's take a look. One, two. Th oh, it's a pump. It's a. We're. It's a pump. That's a pump. So you're gonna get Iron Thorn, but we're into a pump right now. So whoever's up next, you might, you might, if you have the free CHs with your order, you're definitely gonna, you might make out on this. Uh, my man, Pokemon, getting that beautiful Japanese Rocket Charmander in a Gem in Ten, and the Iron Thorn. I believe that's one of Pokemon's or Pokemon's bags. I believe he has multiple. I believe he has multiple. I think so. We'll see. Next one up is going to be B Legs plus four LB reserve on Arcanine. All right, Arcanine plus four CH you're going to get plus Arcanine. Let's take a look. Where is Arcanine? There he is. What's up, Arcanine? How you doing, brother? All right, Arc Nine, we got. It says MH. Was that medium high? I don't know. Man, B legs, you are gonna get. Let's take a look here. Uh, Vaporeon promo, Jolteon promo, Flareon. Pro These are really good promos. <laughs> Karidon, e what is he doing here? Ty Flo, what the fuck are you guys doing here? How? Where did uh, Alakazam EXSR? Oh, that's pretty good. And Leafeon Nearman eight Marumia. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shit, shit, all right. <laughs> it's, okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> Not too bad. And then four Crimson Haze. Let's take a look here. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. No shot. <laughs> no fucking shot. Hold up. Nothing. I, I think this is double. Nothing. Not. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's good. It's the boy. <laughs> it's a sweet boy. <laughs> I fucking love him. I love him. I love him so much. I love Sinistra. B legs. I, this is your second Sinistra you've gotten. This is sweet, sweet boy. Come on, he's the best. The best boy. He's sweet, sweet boy. It's my sweet, my sweet boy. I love him. I love his murderous, fucking intent ass. He's good. Poisonous matcha having ass. Good guy. He's a good guy. Nivian Marmia is adorable. It's solid. It's nice. Good Marmia. Good Marmia. Probably like a 35 ish dollar slab, give or take. Alakazam's definitely around like, what, 30? Plus the, then the Sinistra. It's like 20. 
So all said and done, plus the others, you're probably looking at your value back on this bag for the Arcanine. Probably about value back. Be legs, where's the... It's just gonna put it in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Alrighty. Um, where... Where's the Arcanine bag? We can put it in. Where is the... Oh, right here. Is it right here? Yeah, here it is. Alright. Arcanine! Two sinistrous, two frogs? <laughs> You know it's a good day when you have matcha, tea, and frogs. It is a good day. It is a good day at the casino with frogs and matcha. Alright, be like nice. We haven't even hit any of the... Keep in mind, we haven't even hit any of the fucking high tiers. Or what, well, we did hit high tiers, but not one of the any of the big high tiers. And we're, we're doing this good. This is nice. Next up, after B-Legs, is gonna be... B-Legs with fucking... Bull, or... Bellsprout? Bells, Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Plus four CH as well. Bellsprout. Take a look. Okay. All right. So this is like a... So this is... This is I can tell you right now. This is a low mid. This is a low mid. It's the Mint 9, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon in a, in a Mint 9. So this is a low mid. Okay. Uh, however, you got your plus four Crimson Haze. This is... I think you're only not so great back tonight. This is only one. So that's good. Uh, one out of however many. Let's, we'll take those. Let's do plus four. Let's see what we can get here. One, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. Those back. All righty. And we're going to get Walking Wake, Assuming Arcanine. Oh, Applin. Oh, fucking the boys. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. The sweet lads. Little Applin and fucking Poltergeist. I love them. This is such a cute card, man. So cute. Alrighty. So this is like a $50 slab plus these guys. Put it six. Okay. That's a little. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Get the fuck out. Alright. Put them in here. Come on. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, next up after the bell is gonna be Justin with the lick a tongue. Alright, Justin. Alright, Justin, you ready? Lick a tongue. Justin with lick a tongue. It's right here. And Justin, I am sad to say. Lick a tongue has an L right here. That means lick a tongue is the low tier. There was one more low tier, and it was Lickitung, which 5CH plus a Ghastly, 22 bucks, plus 25, 47. Uh, let's see if 5CH plus you get an extra one, so you get one extra, so you get 6CH. Wait, no, Justin, this actually goes to, um, what's it called? The CH goes to Justin, but the one extra CH goes to Rob. Yeah, so the plus one CH goes to Rob, the 5CH goes to Justin. So we'll do Justin's first, which is going to be 5CH, and then the sixth one will go to Rob. So one, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one goes to Rob. Because Rob bought Justin the bags. That makes sense. Mag Cargo. Screamtail. Tinglu. Stamp. <laughs> and Iron Leaves. And then Rob, your card is going to be the fucking Enamorous. <laughs> the Dudskies. Alrighty. So, Justin, you're going to be walking away with these guys on top of the gas lead. That's not a great bag, Justin. That is a low tier. Justin, 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 Justin. My man, Justin. My man, Justin. Justin, right here. Complimentary gasleys can only help so much. They're not helping as much since the value has gone down. But they're complimentary. So free 20 bucks with the bags. Can't complain too much with that. 5CH. The one song that plays in here is a little weird. It has that laughing in the background. Which one? Justin, lick a tongue. No. Justin, slow bro. No. All right. Slow bro. Okay. Slow bro, Justin. Slowbro is going to be a Charmander illustration rare in a Mint 9. So Charma Charizard turned into Charmander. Devolved. 
And from a 10 to a 9. Justin, you dodged the Zard. You dodged the Zard. So Justin, that is rough. That is rough, Justin. That is that is rough. You dodged the Zard. You done dodged it. Slow, bro. You are going to get plus one Crimson Haze. All right. But that's going to go to Rob because Rob bought you the bag. And it's going to be a Cramorant. So, Rob, you're going to get a Cramorant illustration rare. Or art rare. Excuse me. Cramorant art rare for Rob. Alrighty, and that means the first Zard is going to be the Ammonite Pokemon. You are going to get the... What the fuck? Hold up. I got to put tape down. My wires fell from under my desk. Put them back up. There we go. Pokemon, you are going to get the first Zard bag. Let's take a look. All righty. We have Ammonite. Burr, 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 burr. Ammonite. Let's take a look. Five Crimson Haze. One Ghastly Illustration Rare. Um, basic Energy, Basic Energy, Venusaur, Erica's Invitation, Pikachu, CHR, uh, then the Mew Boys. So 20, 45, 55, 57, 58. 78 plus 25 103 plus around 350 so it's like 450 something in this guy but you got one you got the zard one of the two you got gem and 10 charizard ex sir beautiful fucking slab man i'd love to see it beautiful beautiful slab let's get all this sleeved up for you <laughs> no, he's got some fucking feathers or something. <laughs> Bro literally doesn't know the names of the fucking mons. Like, I, I I slip up on mons names here and there, too. But they're only... It's very, like, weird niche ones, usually. Like, ones that, like... And that's not no excuse. I should I know most, if not all of them. But then there's sometimes I just fucking... I, I zoink out. Pokemon, your luck is returned! <laughs> Let's go, man. Where was the... Where's the Ammonite bag? We just had it. Did I throw it on the ground like an asshole? I, I fucking, here's a bag. I, I don't know where the Ammonite went. I have the, 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 go, no. Where's the Ammonite bag? I don't know. I have the Dugong. <laughs> It'll work. Gong, gong. Hold up. There's like fucking, there we go. And then you had 5CH plus 1. So 5CH plus 1, so you get 6CH. So Pokemon 151. So you get 6 Crimson Haze as well. So let's rip that. Six Crimson Haze. Let's see how it goes for you. Come on now. Can I grab them? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Six Crimson Haze here. Vulpix. Haluch. Oh, are we pumping? We're pumping, baby. Oh, but we, you know. <laughs> Before the pump, we had the little the goofy little lad. Uh, Helios, Kilioptile, fucking, I always forget. <laughs> I always forget the two. Not too shabby, though. Pokemon, not not bad at all. That's that's pretty dang. Pretty solid. And lastly, Rob. Rob, you done got the Porygon, and Porygon is gonna be the other high tier. The big one. <laughs> Alright, Rob. Let's take a look. Rob! On the bat, you got Charizard EX SIR and a Gem Mint 10. And on top of that, you also got yourself a Erica's Invitation SAR Mint 9. So you got both of these from that bag. Amazing cards, man. They just they look great. They're amazing. I'd regrade this if I were you, by the way. I'd, I'd regrade it. Um, great cards, though. Fantastic. And on top of that, you do get a free Crimson Haze. Could you imagine if you hit the end of the pump? No shot, right? Nah, it's still pumping. <laughs> it's still pumping. All right. All righty. 
So, Charizard EXSIR and Erica's Invitation SAR9. Not too bad, Rob. Let's get you. Where did I throw your bag at? Um, but, but, but I'd trade you that 10 Charmander for your Blasty Helioptile. Very cool. Helioptile, like good Pokemon. Solid Pokemon. Pretty cool Pokemon. Um, but, but, but St. Helos, I think you do be legs. Ha 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 ha. Dindama said if the two bags that were picked, it would be jacked up as we bought stuff. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Uh, but, 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 and this one was for Rob. If the two bags weren't picked, it would be jacked. What do you mean by that? Explain. Explain. All right. Sweet. So that was that round. That was that round. That was fun. That was good. That was a damn good round of LBs. A thematic round, if you will, of 151. So if you like Kanto or 151, that was a very thematic round. So if you enjoy 151, you probably had a lot of fun with that round of LBs. Uh... Went really good. I never said try. I thought it was Solar, but it was, but it was you. Yeah, Solar got the nine, and yeah. So B legs, you got uh, you got the Blast Toys S I R and a ten. I think yesterday. Uh, Albert retract his comments. Albert, what were you talking about? What were you talking about about what I said? I'd like to know what I said, or what you thought I said. Regardless, let me know. Uh, I'm tapped out on budget this week, so I was lurking. That's crazy. That was me and Solar who bought the first two reserves. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, so when I, when you guys, we get into reserves, I go completely cold. I can't, I can't tell you anything. I can't say anything. I don't know anything, right? And I, even if I do, or I remember a bag when I'm like looking for it beforehand, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm not going to say shit. So, I knew that Porygon was one of them when you said Porygon, but it clearly you you didn't know I knew that. I did not know Ammonite was. I didn't know that. So when you said Ammonite, I had no idea. I I for I genuinely this other Zard bag. I thought from like when we were doing the rounds previous or the the bags previously, and we were going through like the last twenty. I could have swore it was on fucking Caterpie, but I guess not. <laughs> uh did it that. Uh, genuinely don't remember. Yeah, yesterday I think you got it. Not Solar Pokemon, sorry. That was yesterday when Solar got it. No, Solar got the 9. Pokemon got, or b has got the 10, I think. Let me, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Yeah, right here. b -legs. Let me see. Alright, let's take a look. So, b -legs. Yesterday, you picked up a Blastoise EX SI on a Gem Mint 10. And you also picked up Oh, let me get him out real quick. Pull him up a little bit. The Zapdos EX SI in a Gem in 10. So you got the Blast Toys and the Zapdos both in Gem in 10 yesterday. I think it was from both bags you did yesterday. I think so. Uh, I was just jacking around. They were good. <laughs> we did say it would be messed up. Both bags were those two. If both bags were what? The Zards? Nah, everybody wanted the Zards for 151. Everybody was like, yo, we want Zards. And then on top of Zards, we had a Blastoise 10, a Venusaur 10, a Zapdos 10, an Erica 9, a Charmander 10. We had every single SIR from 151 littered throughout the 30 LBs. If anybody complained about this round of LBs, and I mean this, please fuck off. Because this round of LBs was solid as fuck. It was really good. Um, yeah, this round was really, really fucking good. It was very, very consistent. It wasn't like more low tiers in a 1k bag. It was more or less along the lines of like the majority of you are going to have a very good time. I think almost everyone did good except for that one bag. There were two bags that weren't great and they were $50 bags. And then there were like two there were like two slabs that were like $50 slabs. So like 4 out of 26 bags I'll take my odds with doing it. <laughs> if I were to do it, I'd take my odds. So I got confused again. Hugs, no worries. Bestie, well, goddamn. Zapdos, best 151R. I didn't remember that. Yeah, you did really well yesterday, bro. I want that Zapdos too. Don't know what I could trade. Get the rolls ready so we can go home. Yeah, I know. You're right. Dang, I think you had every SR and PSA 10. I think so. Um, the only one we might not have had was the Giovanni's. But like... <laughs> Let's be honest. 
Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be real. I, it's a good card. It's just, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's keep it real. Most people are not going to lose their shit over Giovanni 10. See, is PayPal wonky still? It is. Of course it fucking is. So I got to go to Gmail to take a look. Take a little trip. Uh, B Leg said, uh, sent a hundo and said, great Zapdos, Frog, and Matcha Dude. Okay, let's do it. B Leg. Zapdos. Frog. And where's Sweet Boy? Where's, where's, where's that sweet fuck? <laughs> where's the boy? Where is my sweet little, sweet lad? dropped again, I know it did. Isn't it right here? Yeah, it's in the Right here. Alright, we're gonna get those graded for you, B-Legs. Alright, let's get those graded. B-Legs, thank you very much. Let this, let's get those boys graded for you. Okay. Um, B-Legs. All right, sweet. Cool. B-Legs grading. All three. Cool. Look at Giovanni from Rebel Chat. Have <laughs> faith, Dom. <laughs> no, it's a great card. Giovanni uh, SR is a great card. I really like it. I like the Persian in it a lot. And it's like really, it's the detail is really cool. It's just a lot of people aren't going to be like, Whoa. And like at the end of the day, it's not what I like. You know, if, if a business was run off what I'd like, I wouldn't do very well sometimes. Because... <laughs> Would you guys, do you guys want Sinistra SAR 10s everywhere? You guys want some ghastly IRs in 10 forever? You guys want a little bit of, uh, you want some fucking, what else do I like? You guys want some fossil haunters? Eh, my, my taste ain't too terrible. It's okay. Uh, Albert sent 10 and said shipping. Got you, Albert, got you. Albert, thank you, man. Albert, 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 All right. All righty. So now we're just going to roll everything. It's already 242. All righty. Let's roll everything and then we'll call it a night. So we got to roll a few things. Read chat really quickly. Genetic Christian 10. I'll give you this US Rob It's 10 flat. Thanks, man. Look at the Giovanni from which I have faith. I need a full set of the OG rockets. I'd like to send you SR 10 over the most of the high tiers you put in. Uh, Read text when you're off stream, please. Going to bed. Good night, everyone. I love you, sweetheart. I'll be up in a bit. Giovanni for sure is an extremely niche card. Good night. Good night, my same amazing. Uh, alrighty. Uh, it's my birthday next week, so I want to surprise my kids with these. What do I need to do to ship my bag? So, Rob, all you have to do, if you are domestic, so in the U.S., it's going to be 10 flat. If you are outside of the U.S., um, I can weigh your bag up for you and give you the exact cost of shipping. Um, and then if you want to be shipped as soon as possible, go into our Discord and request shipping in the shipping tab. All righty. I think Rob may have sent an order, Dom. Let me take a look. Take a look. Yeah, PayPal being a little wonky, so let me take a look. Be like, be like, Albert. And then I don't have anything post that. Nothing post uh, Albert. He sent an order for shipping? Let me see. 
Yeah, I just, okay, I just got it. Rob sent 10 for shipping, said please ship my bag. All right, Rob. All right, I got you, man. All righty. All right, Rob. Got you for shipping, brother. All right, sweet. Please ship my bag. It's my birthday next week. Gotcha. We'll ship it ASAP. All righty, sweet. So now we're just gonna we're just gonna roll everything, and then we'll be good, right? So first thing we're gonna roll is the S Beyond. I'm gonna use the bathroom first, really quickly. I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then we're gonna roll everything. So give me one sec. I've had a piss since the start of the fucking reserves. Let's wrap this up. All righty. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it looks like we have to first do the Espeon, and then we will do the. Uh... So it's every order from tonight. So this is the four dash ten. Mac has got it all situated. Fuck yeah. All right, sweet. All righty. Cool. So, Mac, is just do me a favor and confirm for me uh, that everything in the in the spreadsheets is good is good for uh, to put in the wheel. Good night, though. It was a fun night, man. It was a good night. Good night. Uh, we got to do all of our incentives, which is the... Let me show you all the incentives that we got to roll right now. So even if you didn't win tonight, you could still win right now. So this is the this is the benefit. Um, God of War, E-X-S-A-R. Uh, Maridon, E-X-S-A-R. And then the Marami Espeon 10. So we're rolling all of these right now. So these are all going to, to new homes <laughs> real quick. And then we're going to wrap it up tonight. These boys right here. Put Wabafet fucking I don't know wherever that champ wants to go. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's a fucking great dude. What we'll do the what we'll do the Espeon first? I'd be like and Albert shipping and Rob shipping. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so let's get it rolling. Let me get the wheel up. We're gonna take the wheel over here. Um we'll do this. And I'm gonna add everything in. So first we have solar with 30. Uh, Pokemon with 20. And this is from yesterday. We're going to add tonight's as well. B-Legs. <laughs> Fuck. B-Legs. There we go. 80. Kazantha. Got 6. And we have Claudio. With 1. And we have tonight, which we have just... Poor fucking Justin, dude. Justin. It was a rough night, man. It was a rough night for Justin, but Justin's going to come back strong, dude. I believe in Justin. I think Justin's going to come back strong. Uh, Actually, hmm. Oh, no, yeah. He would get the entries for it. So, Kazantha want Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be 50. My man Rob gets 11. Rob bought bags for... Uh, Justin for the Zard trade, but Ra or Justin does get the entries for it though, right? Is that was that the agreement? Village, and Albert with eleven. All righty, sweet sweet. Let's take a quick look at key or chat and see if everybody agrees. Um, yeah, so 
so Rob bought the bags for um, Justin, so Justin will get the entries for it. I mean, the trade was for like a fucking six slab, so you know it's it's only fair. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's get into the roll. Alrighty, here we go. Let's shuffle it up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The winner of the Espion is going to be... Let's see. Let's see. There you go. There you go. <laughs> see, Justin, it's turning around. All right. Justin, you are going to win the Maromia Espion in a Gem Mint 10. There you go, Justin. Not too bad, right? Justin, rough night, but maybe we're ending off on a crazy good note, right? We're off to a good start, Justin. So Justin had a rough night, but we're slowly turning around. We're slowly turning it around. Let's go, Justin. All righty. Put that in Justin's bag. You're going to turn this thing around. You're going to turn this car around right now. All righty. That's good. Uh, I agree. Looks good to me. Hell yeah. Congrats, man. Best of luck. I don't... All right. So now we have to add in the last five days of stream. So si since last... Uh, what's it called? Since last uh, Wednesday. So that would be one, two, three. Open up this three. It would be a week ago. So it would be this day. So this is the day. No, it would be, it'd be this day. Okay. All right. So we just got to add all these days in. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Let's do it. Alrighty. Okay. And here's what we're gonna do. So now we're gonna roll for the uh we're gonna we're gonna roll for the uh where is it? The Maridon SAR Gemint 10. Let's get all those entries. This is the past week you've made orders. Is that how you got you got entered this way? Pokemon twenty. Edwin. Mal. Kieran. Elijah. Chapa. This is the tedious part of stream. <laughs> uh, Claudio. I hear footsteps upstairs. I don't know if I'm supposed to be hearing footsteps upstairs. Might take a look on that in a second. Ryan A. Billy. And Ethan. Alrighty. And then the next day was Tyson. Chiapa. Justin. Pokemon. And Anusin. Alrighty. The next day is... Here, one sec. I'm here and banging upstairs. I want to make sure nobody's invaded my home. <laughs> Give me a second real quick. And then we'll get back to that. Was the dog <laughs> it was my dog going rogue all right let's get back to this let's wrap this up okay uh next up we had who is who we just have at the end it was a nuisance so now we're getting into the next day so it will be pokemon with 30 jd got 11 because i was gifted from pokemon b legs three choppa Justin. 
Darth Darian. Uh. Tyson. And Ethan. Alrighty. And then the last day that we're going to put in here, we have Solar. You guys, you guys are seeing me do this live right now, right? Hopefully. Hopefully you're not, you're not just seeing me right now. <laughs> Hopefully you're seeing the screen. Um, look at man, 24. Chiampa, 30. Tyson, 10. Uh, Mac is 4. Kazantha, 1. And Rob, 20. All right, and this is going to be the weekly. All righty, so this is going to be the weekly. All right, y'all ready? Let's just double check. Everybody agrees with chat. Make sure Mac isn't yelling at me for forgetting something. All right, we're good. All right, sweet. <laughs> Let's do it. This is the past week. Best of luck. Wait. Best of luck. <laughs> Here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And the winner is going to be the winner for the Maridon SAR Gem Mint 10. Who's it going to be? Who's going to win it? B Legs. There we go. B Legs. Congrats, brother. I think it's the first time B Legs has won, <laughs> like in the past month, uh, an incentive where he had the high odds. <laughs> So this is long overdue. B legs, you're gonna win the weekly. Nice, dude. B legs. Alrighty, and then the last one is gonna be the Gardevoir E X S A R. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? No, 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 no. Alrighty, let's take a look. So the the Gardevoir S A R. So it's gonna be the past sixty, or not? Sixty or not? I don't know. Sixty, right? Yeah. Take a look. Take a look. We will take a look. Let's see, is it gonna show me? Is it gonna be? Of course, it's gonna be. Of course, PayPal is gonna be difficult. Why wouldn't it be? So it'd be. What was the date we started it on? Donald, please read chat. So you just use my LB column on all the sheets. Gotcha. What was the date we started it? Dama, Dama, you started those at the same time. We started them at the same time. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. What are we? Wait, hold on. You started those at the same time. Okay, so it would be. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So it's just the past weeks. Gotcha. Macus, thank you. All right. So it's just going back to the LBs. That's easy. We can do that. The threads, and that would have been on the this date, right here. Wait, no. Yeah, this date. All right. So we're gonna bring up this date and <laughs> this date and this date and this date <laughs> and this date all right sweet 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 so we got them all we got them all right so let's take out all of the wheels, the wheel entries. Let's take a look. Take them all out. And we just got to put in for all columns. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Let's start this date. So the LBs. So solar three. Justin or Pokemon. Two. Uh, Choppa, three. Tyson, one. Rob, one. Next day. Uh, Pokemon, three. JD, one. Three legs, seven. Choppa, two. Justin one, Darth two, Tyson one, Ethan three. Alrighty, next day. Uh, 
Tyson, five. Chapa, three. Pokemon, five. And Anusin, one. I think Anusin with that one sniped the height here when he was in here. Or he sniped a good one, I remember. That was a pretty cool night. Uh, Pokemon got two. Kieran got two. Kieran, where's Kieran? Uh, Elijah. Elijah, one. Chop, uh, one. Claudio, one. Tyson, what? One. Alrighty. It was Solar, two. Pokemon, two. And B-Legs. Eight! B-Legs! And last day. Uh, Justin, five. Pokemon, five. Um, Rob, one. B-Legs, four. And lastly, Albert, one. All righty. Let's take a quick look and make sure everybody agrees. Yep, we're all good. We're all in agreement. All right, let's do it. Let's roll it. Sweet, sweet. Um, shuffle, shuffle. The winner of the Gardevoir EX SAR Gem in 10 is going to be. Let's see who's going to win. Pokemon! All right, Pokemon, you are going to be taking home the Lucky Bag Incentive, which is the Gardevoir EX SAR Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card, man. Congratulations. All right, Pokemon. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Good nights. Good, good nights, man. All righty. With that being said, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Y'all uh, have been amazing. Uh, it was a fun night. Really fun night. Got through that 151 themed round. We will have Lucky Bag restocks tomorrow. I will let you guys know the high tiers via Discord. So if you're in Discord, uh, keep around there. I'm sure I'll let you know on stream tomorrow too when we start it up. Uh, very excited to get going. Uh, tomorrow it should be a lot of fun. Tonight was a hell of a stream. Congratulations to everybody. And uh, with that being said... Have a good night. Get some food. Have a drink. Get some sleep. Do what you want to do, right? I'll talk to you all tomorrow. And uh, uh, and uh, have a good one.